You're watching Valorant, but my stream is better. Let's go. Thanks, dude. I appreciate that. Hey, what's up, Chaos? What's up, Voxel? Uh, guys, I don't know. I think the sounds might be borked today, by the way. Um, Windows did an update. And for whatever reason, a lot of... Oh, my camera's not even centered. But Windows did an update, and it's like it's kind of borked. But uh, if there's subs and stuff and it doesn't read out, I will read it out personally to you guys, okay? Uh, hey Alex, hope you're having a good weekend. What's going on, Cyan? How you doing, bro? Hope you guys are all having a good weekend. Cyber, what's going on? NK, what's going on, dude? Star, what's going on? GTM, what's dude? What's going on, dude? I uh, was going to bed, became a dude. Wait, what time is it there? What's up, Reagan? How you doing, dude? Um, get to watch this live. Let's go. Hold on, let me adjust this camera. I don't know how to shift it up. Much better. <laughs> oh, I know. I got shifted. Okay, I need to clean my my uh, my room today, dude. I am off to get my flu and booster shot. Have a good stream, dude. Thank you, Bob. I appreciate you, man. <clears throat> I'm getting a lot better though, guys. I think my voice is almost back entirely. The Virgo, yeah. Um, no real sad. I mean, okay, okay, it is working. I think perfect. Yeah. Thank you so much. I am. Thank you, dude. I appreciate your two months. It's not necessarily sad, it's just frustrating. So I can DWC, dude. Thank you also for eight months, bro. I appreciate that. Okay. I I went, I think I told you guys something similar to this. I essentially went to the post office. Um, Yay, Sunday stream. Dude, I love Sunday streams. I went to the post office and I was waiting, I was carrying something heavy and there's nowhere to put down boxes. So I'm literally just like sitting there like struggling. And there's someone in front of me and um, they were talking about how they're running a small business to this like postal office worker. And they had like, I don't know, 15 to 20 packages. So then the uh, post office lady was getting kind of frustrated because nothing had labels. And she, she just goes, oh, dude, keyboard. Thank you so much for the two months, bro. Soon, so thought I'd do this now. Have Thank a good you, dude. Stream. I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much for two months. And um, the lady was just like, okay, this, I don't know. I can't hear this, but hopefully you guys can hear this. I can't hear it at all, though. The lady was just basically like, oh, um, you know, are, how long have you been running this business? And she, the, the lady was just, the other lady was just like, oh, about two years. And then I'm thinking to myself, I was thinking first, Okay, I'm switching back to the other view because I can't hear anything. I, I was thinking to myself, Virgo Puck. Yo, Nord, what's going on, bro? And happy belated, by the way. I think I already wished you happy birthday before, but uh, it's a little while ago, I think. The, but basically, the lady was like, oh, yeah, I've been doing this for about two years. And I was thinking, how has it been two years, but you don't invest in, like, a label printer? Because this is a giant waste of time, you know, like, running a business and then waiting in line for about 20 to 30 minutes while someone else prints the labels and you watch them. You know, I'm just thinking that like, I'm, I'm not being like, I wasn't saying anything like maybe there's a reason, but me being critical, I'm just like, this doesn't make sense. So then the late, like the post office workers like, oh, you haven't invested in a label printer. 
And then the person's just like, no, I just get you guys to do it. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a lot of money buying paper and ink. And I'm like, I buy paper and ink and I don't even run a, like a real business. I just build people's keyboards. It's not even that expensive. It's like $80 will get you like half a year of worth, worth of stuff almost, especially for like low quantity. So, that, so then the lady's like, oh yeah, like I, I guess that's a reason. And then she's also like, plus I really don't know how technology works. I was like, all right, that's fair, I guess. So then the post office, this is the kicker, dude. The post office later, lady's like, so what do you do for your business? I shit you not, she like stopped on her cell phone. And she's like, I run a tech thing where I ship out tech. And I'm like, you don't, what? I'm like, how do you run a tech business and then don't want to learn how to use a printer? I'm just, I'm just sitting there like flabbergasted, dude. Cause like, I don't know, I, I just personally don't see as like a business owner, you'd want to spend 30 to 40 minutes of your day, or however long it takes, while someone like slowly packages your stuff while you're just watching them, you know? So to me, that doesn't make sense. Tech, but doesn't know what a printer works? I don't know. Hogsy, thank you so much for your prime, dude. I appreciate that, man. I don't think anyone would want to do that. I don't know, man. But like, what's your absolute favorite linear switch that isn't long pole? Um, I like KTT Roses, I like Alpacas, um, I like H1 switches, but you have, you have to, um, you absolutely have to spring swap the H1s. But yeah, I don't know, just, just weird to me. I just, I don't get the purpose, I suppose. Maybe I'm weird for thinking that, but I don't know. Like, what do you guys think about that whole situation? You know, without being, I guess, without it being flavored by my opinion. I spend eight hours a week pack, uh, packing orders at home and I can't imagine do, uh, doing it like that. Yeah, it's, dude, it's weird. YouTube video on Akuma soon? Yes, I will post the uh, thing soon. I'm gonna have Manoli edit it. Uh, can anyone give me a rundown of different between long poles and normal? Well, a long pole switch, basically the, I don't have a broken down switch here, but the, the pole inside the switch, like that stem is longer, meaning the bottom out is gonna be quicker and louder. It's just wild to me, bro. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's their own loss, but the label printer literally saves us so much time. Plus like a thermal printer works just as good too, which is what was kind of, I guess, baffling to me. It's like, like a thermal printer also works, which is what the majority of people use. You don't have to use ink, you know? Lately, some printers have been predatory ink policies, like shipping your new cartridges. Yeah, you don't have to use those though. I know exactly what you mean though, dude. Printers feel like they haven't evolved in like the last 10 years at all. Uh, somehow I always find myself, oh dude. I don't know if you guys have this in the States too, but I'm always behind the people doing money orders too. Cause they, they offer that at some postal offices, always. I always get stuck behind the guy who wants to send like money to like 17 different people around the world using like a postal service. That's a thing in the US too. Yeah, it's, it's such a long process. You'd figure they have either their own line or just like some different place for that, but what's up, Insty? My brother bought a thermal label printer and UPS literally sent him two kilos of blank. Yeah, dude, they'll send you so much. Like it doesn't cost them much and they want your business. So that's why they'll do it. Back in the day, even using regular paper was annoying. Yeah, thermal thermal printers are definitely like the thing for businesses. I don't use one for myself because I don't go through enough of anything and I like having a printer too, but that's how we got this beautiful photo of Tim. That's not actually that accurate because it printed out pink for some reason. Uh, hi Alex, uh, do you have any recommendations for tactiles? You know, I've been really like, liking these ones here, uh, box milk, these uh, blueberry chiffon switches. What IEM wire do I use? Oh, I believe this one here actually came stock with my headphones, well, my IEMs, but... um, If you guys are getting into audio and decide you wanna spend some money on a good quality cable, you guys can do so. Um, I, I'm just gonna let you guys know, I've used a lot of cables ranging from $20 to $100, some even $500. And uh, they say there's sound differences, but I don't think so, to be honest. I haven't noticed any sound difference coming from any of them, but some people think there is. And I don't wanna take away from their, their experiences, but 
I just find it weird how like the cable makes it go like faster or like more accurate music. So I don't know, man. Kind of seems sus to me when I've tried them all and I've critically listened and don't notice a damn difference. Keyboards uh, love sound stuff. I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I like sound. That's why I like keyboards, but audio interface, I use the Apollo Twin. It's just out of frame. That's why you guys don't really see it much anymore. Can you hear your thoughts between choosing the W180 and XOX70? I think if you're going for one of those keyboards, I've heard the W180 is great. I know the XOX70 is like all around a good board. So I think either way. What do you mean? Nice keyboard cables at 10 words per minute? That's only coiled cables, Reagan. Get it straight. It's only the coils. The coils add speed to your typing. I would say it's all snake oil, but it should be about worksmanship, not going faster. I might be biased though. I mean, okay. From what I understand, and maybe Voxel, maybe Reagan can let me know, a good quality audio cable, the main benefit, Zachy, thank you so much for your prime, bro. I appreciate that, man. So, so much. The main benefit is a good quality cable should A, last you longer, um, shouldn't have any sort of interference for audio stuff, and will allow you to do longer runs without more interference or distortion. That's what I understand and what I've been told by people in the audio community who like fully understand cabling say that good quality audio cables do. I don't know much about using silver versus copper and it changing the sound. I don't think that's an actual thing as much as some people advertise, but beats me, God, beats me, dude. Yeah, cable noise being a good thing, a good uh, way to, I guess that's caused by the insulation maybe. A small theoretical difference in conductor materials, silver and gold being noticeable, uh, I guess so. But can you hear that, nah fam? Yeah, that's, I mean like I've used a variety of really expensive stuff and I've returned most of it and I've kept like either stock cables or $20 Amazon cables. Anyone got any good fall autumn desk pads? Okay, I don't mean to self plug, but I do actually have a really nice autumn, it's actually themed after autumn colors. Uh, it's the Minify autumn color one. It's on uh, Reagan's website, Space Cables. I was sad, but then I saw Alex's face. See, Jazz, thank you, dude. I appreciate that. Also, Kujo, what's going on, what's going on dude? <coughs> I said, Alex, I heard Alex's streams were chill. I hope so. There's also a desk pad special until midnight. Oh, yes. That's right. Reagan has like, what, $6 off desk pads or something? If the cable's unbalanced. Oh, yeah, there's that too about EMI and RFI. What tattoos do I have? They look sick. You know, I actually like, I want to get more filled in. Um, but I don't, I don't know. Like, honestly, I don't feel like going in wait times for some of these things. Dude, Contrail, thank you so much for your tier one for six freaking months, bro. I appreciate that, man. Thank you, thank you, dude. It's also on Salvin's website. Yes, if you want, if you're in Europe and want someone, um, Minify is also on Salvin's website. I don't have a keyboard tattoo yet. If, if you guys want me to get a key, keyboard tattoo, we need, it. we need to set up some ground rules for that. We do. Love your new IG logo. Thank you, dude. Someone's actually, um, some account is trying to like take all my stuff and like post it. It's so weird. I hate when accounts do that. And then they link you to spam. It's Sunday, got an Alex stream on, FIFA on the main screen, all is well. Let's go, Pinoy. How you doing, bro? Uh, do you have a logo as your tattoo yet? No, I want to do a lot of tattoos, but like, I don't know if you guys are aware, but a lot of tattoo places have a really big queue. I don't know if that's still the case, but last time I checked, there was a long queue. All right, let's take a look at this keyboard really quick. Oh, hey, okay, got tattoo. Okay, bro. This is the FLX Virgo. So quick little note, um, because what was funny about this, and I'll tell you a funny little story about it, is uh, Lowell Stacks reached out to me and he's like, have you heard of this Antipod? I think that's how you pronounce it. I actually didn't even ask that um, company because they reached out. And I was like, yeah, I have actually. So they're a newer, uh, newer, I guess, group that includes like Mechanist, uh, Keeb, which used to sponsor me for a long, long time and they're good people. <clears throat> and Martin, who's a PCB designer. 
So they're gonna be uh, running this antipod. I, I guess it's pronounced antipod. I don't know, scare, probably Keeb or scare robots gonna like yell at me later. But um, they're based in Norway, basically. Uh, the sh products will be shipped from Norway, but uh, it's cool. It's like, a, it's like a group of people that came together to do some keyboard stuff. So this is the round two of the FLX Virgo. I remember when this keyboard came out. I was looking at it and thinking, at the time I was like not really huge on uh, Alice keyboards, but I've kind of grown into them now where I'm like, I was using the Bear V2 for a long time, a round two. So uh, it's a 12 degree split TKL, which is kind of cool, which is I'd say rather unique for something like this. Um, made of aluminum, obviously, has a gram, uh, grommet mounting isolated plates, which we'll get into. And then it, I believe, I don't know if it's still here, but I remember reading somewhere here. It's not here. Don't get mad if I'm wrong. And maybe they can correct me if I'm wrong. I believe it's 18 mil front height or 20 mil or something like that. Last I checked, and I don't know how true that is. Let's see if I can actually find that. Uh, <coughs> 1.8 centimeters from, uh, in the, wait, front height is in the middle. Oh, so it starts, I guess, the lowest point is 18 mil, but it gets higher on the corners. Interesting. Soren streaming Osu right now, is he? Bro, I hope he streams past when we have to go. I hope he streams past that so we can raid into him. But yeah, pretty cool. It is a little bit more money. Um, so it's starting at 650. And there is also some other things that come with this that you can possibly pick up. But we'll get into this, see if it's maybe worth your guys' money. I know this did run already and people really loved the first one. Uh, so is it more angled than the original? I don't think it is. No one mentioned that to me. And I've never tried the original one. Um, I don't think so. I don't think it's more. Hi from Portugal, what's going on, dude? Uh, what board am I using right now? The Akuma still. I told you guys this is probably gonna be on my desk a lot. I actually, I don't, like, okay. Quick little thing on this, the Blueberry Chiffon switches. They feel nice. I actually really like typing on them. I would say they're not, more preferable in terms of sound profile than some of my linears. But dude, I really like the way they feel. Uh, anti, is it pronounced anti-pod? Dude, I, I, anti-pody? I don't know. Dude, am I saying that wrong, fool? Oh my gosh. Yo, Bullets, what's going on, bro? 26, what's up, baby. Bullets? 26, baby, damn, bro. But yeah, otherwise, pretty nice looking keyboard. Did you have to lube them? Uh, no, I got the pre lubed ones they sent over. Actually, let's move the Akuma out of the way a little bit here so we can show you guys this keyboard. Side profile is pretty nice. It does have um, that kind of, I guess you can kind of see it. Not a seam per se, but it's uh, that angle there. And then you kind of have that beautiful curve here on the bottom. So it is a really, really, really nice um, side profile as well. I do not have the sand glass ergo. That was actually a really pretty keyboard too. Otherwise, really, really nice. Inset USB-C, which is awesome. It is not completely uh, centered. I'd say it's centered over here. Um, I'm okay with that, actually. It makes sense, it being there. Uh, Kimchi, thank you so much for the Prime, dude. I appreciate that. anti pude Oh, man. Can someone make like a purely phonetic thing of that? Yazzle, what's going on, dude? Namikos, thank you so much for your prime, bro. Twitch baby, let's go. <coughs> been busy with work, so I haven't been able to pop in. Ha ha. Dude, I've also been so busy lately. I understand completely, man. Hopefully it's all going well, though, for you, Namikos. We have the weight on the bottom. We have the feet, which are quite nice. Is that a piece of dirt? Uh, yeah, it's a piece of dirt. Um, but yeah, again, I, I think the design's pretty solid on this. It looks really nice. The color of this is really pretty, too. Also, I haven't taking this completely out yet. But it does have a matching wrist rest, which I mean, I think looks really sharp. And oh yeah, the wrist rest does have like the rubber feet over here so it doesn't smack and do all that shit. But pretty nice. Even the angle of this already feels like it'd be really uh, comfortable to type on, so. Uh, 
speaking of audio stuff, do you ever listen to two audio sources at once? I realized I got music in my right ear and Alex Otis in my left ear. Like, do I listen to two separate audio sources? I don't think I can do that. I think I would get really, um, cause I think the way I work is I get really uh, flustered from too many sounds. I think my girlfriend can even attest that. Like if we go out and we walk down the street and I hear random noises that don't make sense, I'll like instantly shoot that way and start to focus on it. And it kind of like, doesn't scare me per se, but like it, uh, it alarms me, I guess. So that's kind of how I am with, with too many sounds or just sounds that kind of, I'm not expecting or just stuff like that. So Zyro, thank you so much for the raid of 37, dude. How was your stream? <laughs> yeah, I've always been kind of like that though. So the curves follow the board. Oh, do they actually? Let's see. Oh yeah, they do. Wow, that looks really nice. <coughs> that does look really, really good. I usually work with a TV show and play music playing for two speakers. I'm not a fan of quiet. I don't like quiet either per se, um, but how are you feeling, man? I hope your throat is getting better. I think it's getting a lot better. I'm getting all my range back, the limited that I already had, but I'm still coughing every now and then. Thank you guys for the follows. I appreciate it. If you guys don't know, I'm Alex. I build keyboards. I try my best to build keyboards anyways, but. Uh, but Yazzle, not too much is uh, not too much is up, Yazzleberry. We're just building keyboards today. How is your day going? Um, finally, you can sing again. I don't know who lied to you, and I'm really, uh, really sorry. But I can't sing. I can't even hum right now. I tried humming last night, and that range has it come back to me, so it just comes out as like air coming out of my mouth. It's going good so far. Hell yeah. Are you interested in the board? The zoom? Yeah. It's part of the shtick here. Anyways, this is really cool. I think this is an additional about 200 bucks. NK Sand would look good on this. I, I can't use NK Sand today though. Super sore throat. I've had, I think, laryngitis for about two and a bit weeks, unfortunately. Even without the hum, your voice is yum? <laughs> Bro, thank you so much. Wrist rest is 99. Is it 99? What was 200? Hold on, let me take a look. Pricing is a lot for this. Oh, wrist wrist is 99. Okay, that makes sense. 650 for the kit, uh, 209 for the, okay, I got two things mixed up. For the Virgo pad, $99 for the wrist rest, an additional 89 for clear brass, multicolored um, matte PVD. Oh, that would be interesting to see. Have I ever seen something like that? Multicolored matte PVD? Oh no, I think I have on some one of the QK stuff, right? I think I have. So nice. Full, thank you so much for the prime. Ahmed, um, thank you so much for your tier one. I appreciate that so, so much. Ramrod, guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much for your prime too, dude. Scuffed zoom, please. They're all kind of scuffed though, man. They all kind of suck. Every time, I, I, I haven't tinkered with them in a little while, but they just get progressively worse. So nice. I don't even know where my face is pop. Oh, there it is. They just get, they just get really bad. So yeah, they've just been getting so bad. Thanks for what I do. Hey, thank you so much, Ramrod. <laughs> all right, now that we've taken a look at this, I'm actually gonna take the uh, plate out, so we're gonna un unscrew all this here. So nice. Killer, thank you so much for the five months, bro. I appreciate you. Let's go, Alex. Hey, thanks, man. Um, where's my screwdriver set? Over here. But how's your weekend, guys? How are you guys doing today? Did you guys have a good one? You guys better have. I played a little bit of Destiny last night. What the hell was that transition? Honestly, I don't even know, man. It, we, we had a thing where I did like a scuffed zoom and it was kind of funny. And then because I changed a lot of stuff on my stream, it just got progressively worse. So, ooh, Destiny. I've been really enjoying it. <clears throat> I'm a little conf confused though. <coughs> Let's go Alex Sotos. <clears throat> I can't seem to find any good exotics. I'm playing Hunter right now. I think I want to switch to Titan. Like, and I don't understand how people find exotics other than Xur. And also, I think the only disappointment in the entire game that I'm kind of experiencing right now is there's so much content I want to do. And I did, like, I think we did have like a, there's a community Discord, or not Discord, uh, Destiny Clan. 
but I, I play at weird hours. You have to grind. Like, do they just randomly drop? Is that how it works from like random things? Or is there like a method to getting these? Yeah, other than this, um, quickly other thoughts on the keyboard. I think the keyboard actually looks really nice. I'm excited to build this. Um, I'm also really excited that today, hold on, let me show you guys the PCB before we take out all the screws here. Dungeons and Nightfalls. Man, I feel like it's so hard. Dude, like I haven't gotten anything yet. I'm also really excited for one thing, guys, okay? One thing. All right. I feel like we haven't had this in a while. Can anyone guess what it is? And I say this just because I feel like we've seen so many PCBs like this and I'm just a little, I think I'm burnt out from, uh, yeah, yeah, I do got it. I'm thinking I'm burnt out from flex cuts because it just, honestly, it's been making the keyboard sound so thin. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to not have to deal with flex cuts today. That's nice. And I'm excited for a normal ass, non, well, I say normal, but like, you guys know what I mean. I'm not trying to be disrespectful for anyone who likes hot swap. Hot swap builds are usually pretty limited and we're usually forced to go like one or two different ways. So I kind of like the fact that we have some options here, uh, which is quite nice. But yeah, purple PCB, yeah, it's kind of cool, right? Love me a Martin Design PCB? Yeah. Legend in the community. I build and typed on an 8% recently? And also, Ramrod, thank you for converting your sub, dude. Wait, how did you do that? Flex cuts are basically, do I have a PCB to show you with flex cuts around? They're basically cuts in the PCB that allow some more movement and softer, in quotations, uh, typing experiences. It typically relates to a bouncy, I'd say, typing experience, not so much soft. I think soft might be the wrong word here. Um, but the problem is, is I've been, we've been seeing so many people just like absolutely go nuts with flex cuts. And there's just sometimes too many. Chara, what's going on, dude? Glad you're here. And it, the downside that I've been experiencing with flex cuts is you're gonna get a thinner sound. Uh, do many cuts on the plate affect the sound as well? If there's no plate uh, flex cuts in the PCB, there shouldn't be as much of a difference on the plate, but it's the opposite way around. The moment there's flex cuts in the PCB is when I find the sound. Does it, 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 the thing is, I think what happens is the higher frequencies when they come back up, when they're hitting the bottom of the case and then bouncing, reverbing back up, it doesn't get stopped by the PCB, which is not, I think, as dense as the uh, plates usually when we're using aluminum. And I think, <coughs> <coughs> sorry guys, I'm still a little bit sick. But I think what that's doing is it's it's allowing the higher frequencies to escape. Um, and then it goes through all the different nooks and crannies of the uh, plate and, and uh, switches. So that's kind of what I find happens. Mode 80 or Sonnet? I mean, what layout do you want? I personally like the Sonnet way more than I like the 80. Really depends on what you're looking for. Akuma versus Shelby? That's tough to say. That is indeed quite tough to say. Um, I don't know. Ooh, inside of the keyboard looks good. I believe, is this an e-coating? I'm not too sure if this is e-coated. I would assume this color is, and it looks like it might be. The coating's good. This is a prototype unit. I know it's been like built up a few times, I think. There's like a little bit of a, something, I don't know what to call this. A little, not a dent, but just a scuff there. Love to see that the plate doesn't have meme cuts. Yeah, there is some relief cuts here on the top. So we do see some relief cuts. Relief cuts are quite nice. Um, it will make the alphas seemingly be a little bit uh, less stressed out from being this whole entire plate, but you, you probably won't notice much from it, but uh, I don't mind the occasional relief cut between large clusters of keys, but there's nothing too crazy about this plate. I like it. Uh, we got the rubber grommets here. These aren't adhesive, by the way. These are just slip on, which love to see this. Absolutely love to see this. 
uh, just means no adhesive, meaning if you did want to swap this out or swap the plate, you don't have to buy an additional set of gaskets, um, which is, again, nice. Adhesive stuff, I don't know. I, I've grown to like these more than adhesive. However, there is different densities between this and Poron. This is a little bit more uh, stiff. At the end of the day, it will still do its job. If we take a second and talk about the Tomo. So I have not yet tried the Tomo. Has anyone here tried the Tomo? Is it, it's out, it's out, right? Like it's shipped to people. I haven't tried it yet though. That is uh, something I have not tried. Honestly, it looks nice. I don't know if I'm sold on the uh, sound profile I've heard from others. Did send me a PCB that already had this cut out, so I'm gonna use this one here. All these ergo boards, dude. I know. Are you a big ergo person, Mount? Uh, no, I didn't get. I don't get. A, I didn't get a Tomo Proto. Honestly, there's so many prototypes that it's impossible to, for one person to cover them all. Almost, I feel. Um, but I think Teja and I think Marcia. Or was it Marcia? Or was it Diego? I don't know, someone did. I might try polyfill, but I'm not feeling the sound yet. That's kind of what I got from the sound test people were doing. Like no one looked too impressed with the sound. So I don't know, that's just kind of what I saw there. All right, and in terms of what we have here on the PCB, we do have step caps, regular caps, split uh, left shift, split backspace. Looks like we do have ISO support, not on this plate, I'm assuming if it's on the PCB, there might be a plate for it. Actually, will it be? Maybe, I don't know. Split right, uh, we have some options here for the bottom row as well. The Apple adjustable board, I have not seen that. The PCB has SMD already soldered. Um, that's super nice for people who wanna use Windows keycaps. Oh, these ones you mean? Hey Alex in chat, what's going on Zosco? Top mount is good, don't like O-ring uh, too much though. It's pretty much a mid-board if you're buying the Tomo for the name. I don't know. It supports ISO, perfect. I, like, honestly, um, that's why I didn't get too pumped up. I, like, I liked the look of the Tomo, but also I absolutely love this. Is this, I'm curious. I don't know if this is like someone's logo here, but it's like a pair of sunglasses and a tie. I almost feel like this might be like a combination of people's logos in this group for some weird reason. <clears throat> it's FLX's logo? Oh, is it? I don't remember that being part of the first one. No, dude, I honestly need to find a better way to mount my cable, whatever. I'm not gonna type it in. It just gets snagged on Hi, the back. Alex. Zebra, thank you so much for the prime, dude. FLX, okay. Only reason I say it might be an amalgamation of logos is because Scary Robot also has like his avatar with like a, a, a tie on, on it. So I was like, is this a combination? Can I send a, a link in chat? Yeah, go for it. I got an R on PCB, it's on there. Oh, cool. Like I said, I wanted the original FLX um, Virgo, but never got it. Oh, I know, but then that means I have to tape shit on the back of my desk, and I got room for that. And thank you, Zebra, I appreciate that again, man. Okay, I'll get that later. Uh, all right, let's start doing our stabilizers. They sent over some stabs. Apple adjustable keyboard. What was adjustable on it? Oh gosh. Oh, it's kind of cool, actually. Interesting. When did this come out, 1994? Hmm. Interesting. Are you reviewing the new Thera? Yes, I actually have it here. It's a little, it's uh, maybe a lot different than the original. Is my desk cables managed? No, dude, honestly, like, can I give you guys like honest insight on managing cables as a content creator? Absolutely pointless. Because I, when I want to change up something, I now have to disassemble all my managed cables 
just to do something, like unwrap every, so you know what happens? A bunch of the stuff that doesn't get moved gets tied up and put in the, the corner. Everything else just hangs loose. Any, any content creator who lies to me and tells me that they, they manage their cables while they're doing content creation with a bunch of different shit, bro, I, I honestly like, I only believe 5%. Only believe like 5% of that, man. Where's my, here we go. Oh damn, do I have enough stats for all this? Oh yeah, I do. Clean is nice, but not lived in. Immune zoom setup isn't useful. Kinda. Just delete the cables? I wish, bro. Imagine that day every, every peripheral only has USB-C. Yeah, that'd be nice. This, this is also stupid as fuck too. Like, I like this mouse. I really hate the fact that this mouse here has this connector on it. Like really hate this. Because then I need to bust out a whole ass new cable just for this stupid mouse. Like, it's a good mouse. I like this mouse. I don't like the fact that it uses um, the connector that's just not USB-C. Just make it USB-C. I don't understand why it couldn't have been USB-C. Micro's so like annoying. It's like two things that I have that use that. Uh, we're using five, I think, right? Two, three, I think this might be all of them we use. Swap the connector. Can you? Oh yeah, let's just, let's just lube everything and call it a day. Thank you. Micro breaks so easily. Yep, even mini HDMI. Or is it micro or mini that I use for the cameras? I've gone through so many. Archetype, what's going hey, on, we've dude? We've had two stream babies now. Misfire, we have, man. What's our second baby called? What's going on? How you doing, Archetype? Lube everything and call it a day? That's what I'm gonna do. Are you guys interested in something like this? Like uh, more ergonomic keyboard stuff? Like the Virgo definitely has, um, some unique characteristics to it. Definitely a lot more unique than the stuff, than a lot of the stuff we, we see on the stream. Really, really unique. You sound a bit hoarse, are you okay? Um, I've had, I think I'm pretty positive. I'm pretty positive I've had laryngitis for almost like what, two and a half weeks? And I'm pretty positive me streaming almost every single day is not helping the case. But yeah, I'm, a, I'm, I'm getting over it, but. Slow, <laughs> slowly getting better, I don't know. Rocket, thank you so much for tier one for three months in advance, dude, that's crazy. Thank you, bro, I appreciate the support. And Batenza, thank you so much for your converting Prime Sub to tier one, I appreciate that. Just get unsick forehead? Yeah, I know, just stop feeling bad forehead. Take care of yourself, boo-boo. I have to, because then I have to stream the Minerva. Who's streaming it first? Mech, is it? Is it like Tim or Nathan or something? I don't remember the schedule. Thank you though, guys. I appreciate the subs. Ah, dude, I know. Jim will be streaming it tonight. Oh, is he actually? I honestly thought you guys were talking about next week. Oh, I, why didn't I get my days mixed up? 5 p.m. PST, so that's what, 8, 8 p.m. Eastern, guys. If you guys wanna catch the Minerva stream, Gym Leader Nathan, our friend Gym Leader, will be streaming it at 8 p.m. And then I'll let you guys know when I build it too. It's mostly next week, just kicking it off tonight. Ah, okay, okay. If you guys want a high energy stream from Gym Leader Nathan, me, me and Nathan are both 91 babies. And I swear Nathan, has so much energy that I'd mistake him if I only heard his voice and his energy, I'd mistake him for like early 20s, easy. I don't understand how that guy has so much energy for. <laughs> Honestly, don't get it. Also guys, that workout I did, my first workout in like God knows how many years, I'm feeling it and I'm gonna go again to the gym. We're gonna, we're gonna make it a point to keep going. I think I'm gonna try going at least 
two times a week, at least. We're gonna get back in shape because I have been neglecting it for way too long. Jim's DMs even have energy, all caps. He, he doesn't have regular keyboards. He builds with caps lock fully pressed down every single time. I don't think ripped, I just think like in better shape. I don't think I wanna to go to that length, you know? I need to figure out good workout stuff because I'm so, I, I guess I'm so uh, ignorant when it comes to that kind of stuff. I don't know what I'm doing today. Today I think is gonna be a cleaning day. Nathan hasn't streamed in a hot minute, I'll be there. Yeah, when is the last time Jim Leader streamed? I know other Nathan, he quit because he got 360 no scoped, you know? When he, when he, when that other Nathan comes back, when Teja comes back, I'm literally gonna spam the shit out of him and be like, yo, did you get, did you leave because you actually got 360 no scope? Was the wedding a cover up? Uh, I do a 3D rotation, legs push and pull. So I did treadmill and I also did a low pull machine on the same day and I'm feeling it in my triceps, my back a little bit and some of my core, but yeah, I wanna, I wanna get back in shape. I want, well, I don't think I ever was truly like that great in shape, but I want to get in shape. This summer I ate like, dude, I ate so bad too, Zosko. I don't know what it was. I think I just got carried away. You know what it might've been though, man? I think it's cause we were cooped up inside for so long cause of the, what's it called? Cause of the, why am I? Cause COVID, I think I just kind of like when we were able to eat stuff, I was like, yo, I'm eating everything. I think that's probably what happened, man. Also, we will be doing uh, looking at your keyboards afterwards too, guys. Has it been a month for him? Oh, you know what? I remember why he hasn't streamed in a little while. I think it's a bit personal, so I won't, I won't say anything. Um, I wanna start training in boxing for fitness. I don't know why it just seems like a good stress relief. I mean, mentally, even just that one workout I feel a lot better. Like I feel clarity almost, which is nice. Cause I feel like even though I'm in a nice bright environment and it's really been helping my mental, I also feel like, um, what's it called? I was just kind of becoming a little bit ah, scatterbrained. You feel like you accomplished something like, yeah, yeah, kind of that too. Oh, I think I need more. Post-workout clarity, monk a W. Sal wants a compliment. Hey, you know what I'm always cl clear about? You know what clarity is always there for me, Sal? How amazing you are and how proud I am of you. Hopefully you're having the best day possible today. The best of all Sundays before the week starts. Wait, is Sunday the beginning of the week for some people? I know some people treat Sunday as the beginning of the week, is it? Mighty setup, wrote it in your Discord, you get to keep the eggplant. Oh, do I? So nice. I've been enjoying it. I, I was playing games on it yesterday and I think, I, you know, I think it's a combination between I really like the keyboard and I really like these switches. Again, sound profile wise, I don't think tactiles are for me, but my goodness, these light tactiles are really nice to type on. Again, I just wish I could have the sound profile of a linear, just not having you know, just having a light tap. You know, you know what I mean? I'm, am I making this confusing? What's up? Thank you so much for the tier one, dude. I appreciate that. Post workout clarity. What, what email is that? That is hella cute. Doro fine. That is cute. Is that a hamster? Sunday is the weekend, but Saturday is a weekday. Huh? Is it? No, Monday is definitely the start of the week. I've always thought Monday was the start of the week, but I know some people say Sunday is. It's a cat. Oh. I think I have a fire one too. Oh yeah, Insty just got it too. I want to get more emotes done, but it seems like every emote maker that I want has like a backlog from here to like the other side of the world. Uh, I mean, seriously, Sunday is part of the weekend. Yeah, here, yeah, I think it is, right? Any interest in trying out MM switches? <laughs> yes. I have so many here, but I have to send them to the right. Uh, long story short, they sent me a whole bunch and then they DM me and they're like, 
We accidentally sent you a vendor box. And I'm like, I thought these were for me. But yes, I have them in hand. I just haven't tried them yet. Uh, you ha you just have good taste. Stop having good taste. Good taste is expensive sometimes, huh? And hard and hard to deal with. Nah, I think taste varies. Strong believer that everyone has their own taste and everyone's taste can be amazing. Not everyone has to adhere to everything. Hoshi Zora switches. Which ones are those again? I had, a, I had a conversation with someone in our community yesterday. I was on voice call with them. And it's crazy how even talking to them, like dude, it's, it's wild like talking to them and like learning about different people's keyboard journeys, people still get kind of stuck on one thing. It's not even so much the keyboard, it's the switches. And I still think switches are oversaturated right now. And it's just complicated to navigate switches. It really is. And I don't personally think that switch testers, and maybe you guys have different opinions on this and I'd love to hear it. I don't think switch testers are the way to go. So it's like, how do you try all these switches? You know, like which ones do you go for? Pink, please. I think this is the pinkest we can get right here. Unfortunately, this pink button gives us this like purple. Hopefully that's okay. Speaking of switches, how do you feel about the chiffons? Oh, I, I love them. I don't think I love the sound, but they feel incredible. Like I've been really enjoying typing on them. That little bit of feedback is quite nice. People call them like dirty linears, but I think they're great. I think for feel, switch testers are it, but for sound they're bad. Yeah, I think they're awful for sound. To a degree though, I also feel like for feeling, they're a little bit deceiving because you're you're not typing. You're not typing. You're just clicking. Or, you know, doing one of the doing like one of these where it's like like you're not actually typing on anything, you know? So I feel like they're a bit deceiving. Uh, imagine being a switch modder these days. It makes my brain hurt. As for fully test uh, t testing a switch. I believe the only real way to, po yeah, to populate the outputs, right? Yeah, I agree. My entire photo library was deleted somehow. Wait, on like your iPhone or something? Um, not even so much bottoming out, but like, what am I trying to say here? I feel like you can't actually like understand how the switch feels when you're not actually typing on it properly. Cause when I have a macro pad, like I put any linear switch and they all feel like the same, you know, just clicking on it with an index finger or something. Every photo I've taken in the last past three years, and you, but you have them backed up, right? That's wild. I fucked up like that too a bunch of times. I lost my first entire year of photos and keyboards because my hard drive I took out and then I messed up and put in the wrong hard drive way back when, it was just a backup drive, and uh, threw out the other one, like destroyed it. Not, like I got them mixed up because I bought two of the same ones and one was bad. Uh, do you use any films uh, since, uh, wait, sim film sims? Yes, uh, I sometimes use film simulations on my Fujis for keyboard photos. Very rarely though. A lot of the times I like doing a lot of that stuff in post, but I will admit Fuji film sims are absolutely incredible. Like insanely good. Would you recommend using all foam, which comes with the Akuma? Um, here's how I would probably build the Akuma that I think a lot of people would probably really like. Aluminum plate, mid plate foam, PCB obviously, nothing underneath. Or you could just try putting in the bottom foam. Um, but I think that's probably gonna be a lot of people's ideal way. I I've always loved that sound signature. I know it does sound pretty similar for a lot of keyboards, but I've always loved it. It has enough character for me, but also has like that nice, like full foamy sound. So I have zero photos backed up. I'm not gonna lie though, Cookie. I also have like only 30% of my photos backed up these days. Um, I just, I guess like I don't, I know I put them on Twitter. So it's like, I could just download them off Twitter. But like, I don't know. I just don't care anymore to back up like 
photos that I'm using once, if they're for clients, yeah, they're getting backed up. So if I say for 30, 30%. But for my own stuff, I guess I don't care anymore. I guess it's half the fun is taking it. I'm not looking to preserve that photo forever. I, I've always liked the journey of taking photos, but I am very jealous of when people have like all these memories to look back on for photos. I used to be like that, man. I used to preserve everything. When I was getting, when I was growing up taking photos for like the very first time, every photo I took got backed up. You know, I, I brought my camera everywhere. It was really interesting. And I think something a few years ago, I think it struck a chord where I'm just like, I don't want to do this anymore. Like I hate being the person behind the camera. Um, because like, yes, I take the photos, but I was never in a lot of the photos. You know what I mean? So I guess I just kind of stopped. But I know I, I've seen now, a lot of people are great at adding themselves in the pictures. These days with clouds and stuff, it isn't hard backing them up. You know, that's also true. All my photos are on my phone, so they're probably all backed up on iCloud. That is also very, very true. Digital hoarding is the sickness of modern generation. You luckily, I don't do that. I honestly don't, like, I just delete shit. I don't care. I'm very lucky that, like, I don't have that type of, like, I need to keep everything mentality when it comes to digital goods. The only one regret I have for digital goods these days is the Destiny 2 thing. I lost all my old Destiny 2 content because stupid Blizzard, I guess gave a time frame and I didn't realize. <coughs> I stopped shooting in Raw a long time ago. Long ass time ago I stopped. No, I honestly, I didn't know Prod. I didn't realize back in the day that you had like a time frame for all that. And I guess I just fucked up. It's all right though. Alex played Destiny. I played Destiny 2 when it first came out. I had so much stuff. I think I even bought some like Glimmer or something for like a Christmas event. And it sucks cause like, I just don't get why they wouldn't have like a database of that stuff or something. Like it just, it's dumb that they gave you a year. Like, what, what if you couldn't do anything, you know? So dumb. Bit of an L move on Bungie's part. Yeah, it's a, it's a really stupid move in my opinion. Really stupid move. Uh, I shoot in JPEG now, yep. Exclusively in JPEG. I do not care to shoot in RAW anymore. Fuji does great JPEGs. None of my clients require RAW. So I have no purpose in shooting in RAW anymore. Absolutely none. Uh, Raw is elite, but yeah, Fuji JPEGs are really nice. Yeah, and for what we posted on, I am not shooting like commercial billboards or I'm not shooting like large format stuff, printable goods. It's mostly all for Instagram and somewhat for Twitter. And we go fuzzy for a few seconds. Oh, is it because it's not focusing on something? My bad. The camera is probably just focusing on this like flat red surface. Uh, what is the Fuji camera that has a good kit lens? The stock kit lens, the, I believe it's what, a 16 to 55 or something? That stock kit lens by Fuji, if you guys are interested, is elite. It is, is it 16? It's 18 to 55. It is so good. Most of what you guys see on stream today is kit lenses. I own the expensive lenses but I choose to use the kit lenses. <laughs> they are that good. <laughs> Next DLC should be dope. Yeah, I mean like I'm enjoying the game right now. I definitely am. It's the only game I'm really playing because I'm trying to get stuff in the game, like just items. I just don't have a huge amount of people to play with, especially when I'm on. So I'm just kind of like soloing as much as I can. Did he punch the camera? That usually fixes most electronics. <laughs> One time my girlfriend's computer was, it's actually a funny story. One time it was making a, 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 a fan, like, you know when the fan vibrates? And like, I didn't know what fan it was and I was trying to do my normal thing of like putting pressure on all four points of the fan to see what was vibrating. And I'm like, I don't know, dude. Like, I don't know what's vibrating. So I did one of those like little 
on the top of it and it stopped. And she looked at me and she was so impressed. Obviously, I had no idea what I was doing. I just hit the side of the computer. But it impressed her. So that's all that matters, dude. <laughs> if you really want a game, dude, I, I think I'm in, are you guys in the, uh, I think it's literally called Key Cult, but there's like a Keebs thing. I just don't see anyone on when I'm playing ever. The engineer? Bro, just call me an engineer, my guys. That's it, dude. I'm playing Cyberpunk for the new Edge Runner DLC. As much as I want to play Cyberpunk, I think I got burnt out on the game. <sighs> Hitting the computer is a new smack in the TV. Yeah, seriously. Alex with the life hacks? I mean, not really. It came back after we moved. So, it only worked for a little bit. It was temporary. Also streaming in 1440, I am. Do you guys like 1440? Does that work for everyone? I think that's the number we all agreed on. <coughs> yeah, a lot of people have been playing Valorant. A lot of people have been trying to get me to play Valorant. I can't play Valorant, man. So many people want to like teach me Val and like get me good in Val and I'm, I don't know, dude. It's just not my thing anymore. I can't play those type of games. I really can't. Uh, ba, 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 ba. There we go. Twitch bitrate is so bad though. Yeah, you can only stream at 6K. Like 6K bitrate. That's the max. Unfortunately. Uh, yeah, I only stream 30 frames per second though. In fact, I was talking to basic builds and she she's she was kind of convincing me at one point to stream at 24 frames like cinematic um and honestly it kind of seemed like a really fun idea i would just i haven't set all my cameras to that yet you know i really liked the akuma i did i think the only part i don't like at all is the feet covering the screws I think that's kind of a no-no when it comes to design for me. But uh, they could, you know what, didn't turn out too bad. It might be a bit on the higher end of price points. Oh wait, what screw head do I need for this? But I did like it, it was nice. Yeah, dude, this color is insane. Oh, I just dropped a screw, it's okay. This color is so good, dude. We're doing a collab with that board, sell promo, hey. You don't need to worry about self promo. <laughs> yeah, the purple's fantastic. Definitely one of the more unique Anno colors I've seen. I don't know though, I think keyboards right now seem um, to be burning a lot of people out. Or at least it seems very, again, saturated in a lot of ways. Um, that's why I really enjoy pro doing projects like this or just having some unique characteristic to it. Like this is fun to me. Again, A, cause I was interested in the very first FLX Virgo. And this is just a cool project in general. What does this plate support? I didn't even check. It looks like it supports everything. Actually, do I want to do split right shift? I kind of do. But um, yeah, keyboards definitely feel like sometimes they're just a bit saturated. Um, it's burning the non-believers out first. I think there's a joy in keyboards that I can't get over. I think it's just hands-on assembling something, you build it, you put a lot of love into it, and then you get this really fun product afterwards that you get to use every single day. Like it's, it's rare that in other hobbies that you can assemble something like that and then get to use it every single day. Like it's at your fingertips every single day. And I really like that. Like, I think it's it's fun. Like, I love that intimacy almost with a keyboard that you can have. Um, I think also the community is another really big reason why I personally keep coming back to keyboards and why I just really enjoy keyboards in general, so. Did you leak it to me? So nice. Ooh. 
Looking fine today. I picked thank up you, the Skull Loki King. 65 yesterday. I'm excited, Alex Octru. Thank you, thank you, dude. Hold on. I'm going to show you guys the little leak of this. This should be the right button. Cool. That's actually really cool. Uh, what are my hobbies before keyboards? Before keyboards, I was mostly into audio. And Skull King, looking fine today, I picked up the Loki 65. Ooh, I hope you like it. The RGB is so fucking powerful on that keyboard. So powerful. Posture check. Okay, got you. Again, my only issue with Stabies is I wish they clipped in nicely. I didn't love the sound of Loki. Yeah, that's why I said when people are asking like between that and the Haven, I think the Haven sounds a lot better. But the Loki is unique. It didn't sound awful, obviously. It's kind of like, it sounded good, but it wasn't like, it didn't stick out. Um, I think it's just, the look of it was incredible. Kelby, thank you so much for your prime, dude. I appreciate that. Recently saw Aether as a great color for a keys delivery service board after seeing Kiki themed on Discord. Aether was designed because I love purples and reds. That's literally it. At the time, I was really into them. I think my color palette has changed a little bit. Um, but no, if it matches Kiki's delivery service, it's purely coincidental. I just, I mean, I still to a degree love purples and reds. Like if I had to put color into something, that's the colors I would probably use. But lately I've been more into neutral colors very um, softer colors or just stones and stuff like that. Very earthy tones I've been really into, which you guys can kind of see in like my setup these days. Clueless, oh my gosh. What do you think about the XOX? It was good. Again, I don't think it did anything extraordinary, but it was just good in every aspect. Watching your vids got me back into keyboards. Picked up an F18X, bro. That's a good keyboard, Skelby. That's a, that's an amazing keyboard. It's one of my faves. It's really, really good. I think you're gonna enjoy that. Wait, if this is, I have a question. <sighs> is it weird if I use split right shift since this is like a TKL? I don't think it will because it's split. I think it'll still look nice, but what do you guys think? No, I think it'll look nice still, right? I have an extra wire sitting right there, but I don't know. I think it'll look, I don't know, I think it'll look good. I'm convincing myself. I, I prefer split right shift in every single case. Yeah, the hobby, I would say, got me into a lot of colors too. But yeah, I mean, like going back to our conversation from earlier, I do think keyboard hobby still means a lot to me and I don't think it's ever gonna go away. Um, but I mean, everyone has different preferences when it comes to hobbies and what makes them happy and stuff like that. I've been wanting to build my mom an ergo style keyboard for a long time. She's a medical transcriptionist. Uh, oh, that's cool. And has liked my keyboards with linears. Any recommendations on what you can think of? Um, I wonder what's available right now. You know, Keychron does have a pretty good Alice style board if you don't wanna to spend too much money. Um, I think even Akko has something too. Why is this one here a bit stiff? Oh, there we go. Oh, there's some binding happening with this. Hmm, that's weird. That one stab is being like, so there's some binding going on all of them. On the stabies. Let's see. Uh, the Quirtus? Which one is that one there? Just found your stream. I'm getting into the uh, whole keyboard stuff and trying to understand the whole thing. I have the feeling there are two camps almost, the Ergo people and the rest. Nope, I would not say there are two camps. Um, there are definitely more than two camps, but I do feel that a lot of people like different things in the hobby. I think that's one of the amazing things of the hobby. Let's see if I make this a bit tighter actually, but let's fix it. Hmm. 
There's some binding happening with the stabs and I'm unsure why that is. Is this, uh, what's the size of this PCB? It's just too tight. Okay, there we go. All right. To note, it seems that if you overscrew the stabies on this, some binding happens and it kind of locks up the stabs a little bit. Uh, so basically, the binding is, it's probably shifting a little bit because I screwed them in a little bit tighter. And it probably was locking and seizing up the stabs just because it probably warped a little bit and binding them. But just to note, you know, this isn't the first time I've had that happen with stabies though. Um, it, I don't know, to be honest. I think it was just locking up. We'll, we'll give it a test right now. Ooh, that already looks super cool. Uh, she would need a nav cluster. A nav cluster, huh? You know, maybe, maybe this keyboard. I don't know what else is available for Alice's right now. But maybe this, maybe this keyboard would be good. Nordland, thank you so much for the tier one, Hi, dude. Alex. Have a good stream today. Thank you, man. Finally got my Zoom 65 today. Ooh. Can't wait to get started on that, D. What are you gonna put in it? Post a pic of my live set to show how I do cable swaps for keeps. Okay, definitely, I'll take a look at that. The Cortis, which one is this one? Oh, it's um... Oh, but this doesn't have the nav cluster he was asking for. <coughs> oh, it's just from Shockport. Aren't they from Toronto? I think they're Canadian, right? Uh, let me just quickly grab this. And we'll pull this back here out. If you are new to keyboards, let me tell you one thing. One of the best things you could ever buy yourselves is this. This will come in handy more times than you can ever imagine building keyboards. Even if you're just building one, it is so nice to have these things. They help support the plate so they don't shift down and it just causes everything to just be smooth when you install things. I would highly recommend one of these to, or you can just use like a chopstick or something too. Or even a, a popsicle stick. But highly recommend one of these. Probably one of my favorite tools in the hobby. A very small bean, how are you? How are you been? Hello, hello. What kind of options are there for ergo boards under 150? Hmm. I would suggest looking at the stuff from Keychron then. I think Keychron might be your best friend in that case. Cause their stuff's pretty affordable and it's always pretty decent. Again, there might be Akko stuff. I've never tried Akko stuff in my entire life, but I've heard good things. The forks are so good to have guys. I'm telling you dude, so handy. The chopstick mod, it's, it's so handy though, right? All right, let me test these stabs. I wonder what key set we can use today. Talk to me, buddy. Um, where can I get my hands on an Aether keycap set? So, eventually, I don't know when, I'm planning to do in stock for them. I just, it'll be a, it'll be a longer process. So, hopefully in the next year. It's just, it's not something that's like on a priority list for me. Uh, because I'm working on other things and I really want to prioritize content rather than just releasing product. Um, I don't know, I like the vibe of this more than I like the vibe of selling you guys something. Uh, I don't know what keycaps that I want to use. You know what? I kind of want to use Dandy for this. Fuck, I'm using Dandy. Oh, that's not a good bag. Dandy would be super cute. Put this all in a storage bin somewhere. <laughs> Let's actually get this off the desk for the time being. This box. Civilization, I wish I had that. 
that. I don't have everything, unfortunately. Plate fork, if you guys type an exclamation point fork, it should pop up with the command. Should pop up with the command. Keyword should. Let's just use these two to test everything. Sometimes you still need, even with an alu plate, you can still benefit from using one. You still can. It's sometimes still important to like support your plate. Making sure everything's even is super, super important. We'll tune up the stabs afterwards. I like tuning them after I'm done the build. Perfect, we're good. Yeah, I think we'll use Dandy today. I think Danny will be super, super key on this. All right, let's start putting our switches in. Yeah, I think the 150 budget might be tough because Alice's aren't super common. Um, see, like even right here, guys, see how it's bending in? I still think you can benefit even from an aluminum plate by just sticking the fork in. And then just, oh, I guess the gasket's kind of getting in the way here. But just sticking the fork in and inserting your switches. I think corners have a tendency to bend down a little bit. I think either chocolate or Serica would look great on this case. Zambu shilling. <laughs> I love that terminology, Zambu shilling. It's great. These are very lightly coated switches, by the way. They're not super overly lubed, which is what I tend to do with alpacas. <laughs> I like my alpacas luby. So the, the fork, basically what it does is it helps support the plate from sinking. It's super, super common that when you're installing switches, you're gonna be pressing down on this plate. And sometimes depending on the switch house tolerance, they won't press down all the way and you end up with a sinking plate, um, which could alter your sound, alter your feel, a whole bunch of things. But I do think these are fantastic to have. Again, you're not gonna need it for aluminum for every single switch, uh, but it is nice to have for corners. It's nice to have for flexible plates, especially PC plates. You can a little bit, but why hurt yourself? How many times I've done that where I'm sticking my finger inside and nothing's fucking happening and I'm like, guys, it's not working. Uh, I've always done a grid of switches in the plate. You can do that as well. It's sometimes, I think, with the, what is the usual trick? I think some people recommend corners and then like, I think, is it one in every single alpha row for like, kind of like the split even? Uh, it does not help with aligning three pins, no. It helps with inserting into a plate. That's all it will help with. Plate fork for palm is also mandatory. Yeah, it kind of is these days. <coughs> Surprised the Loki 65 isn't capped out, but only 150 available on the US, but it sounds so good. Plus the extra badges and plates with different colors is wicked customizable. I think the only, Here's my thing. The only reason, okay, let's actually take a step back. Let's take a step back. When we're looking at keyboards nowadays, enthusiasts, let's talk about the groups of people in the, in the community, right? If you're an enthusiast, if you love keyboards, there has to be a new reason for you to buy something. If you already own a few 65%, why are you buying another one? So when you're looking at marketing, Let's think, what does the Loki do that might want someone who owns keyboards? Um, and then, oh my God, Chozo, you know what, dude? Uh, you might wanna like ask yourself that, like why would you wanna buy as an enthusiast? Maybe nothing, right? Maybe the leaf spring mount's not your, your, you know, your style. Maybe the, you already own something that's polycarbonate. If you're newer and the price works for you, maybe there is, you know, there's that reason. But I think right now, where keyboards are kind of hitting their, um, kind of like losing their stride for some people, is we're seeing a lot of reiterations or um, like combinations of things 
that might not interest the person who's already in the hobby. And it's right now, it's still kind of hard to bring in newer people and have them justify like a build. And I'm saying take that from me because, dude, I go on any of my YouTube videos, I go on Instagram, I go on TikTok. There is, there is so many people telling me shit like this. Uh, I don't like any of these keyboards you just showed us. Uh, I, I much prefer, I much prefer you using uh, uh, this $150 Lenovo Legion, which happens a lot. Or like, I much prefer my Logitech. These are all shit. Why would anyone buy these? I'm never gonna spend 300 bucks. And it's like, <clears throat> you're, those people are already kinda like not coming into the hobby or no one's convinced them to. So you have to think, who's your product for? Um, and that's why a lot of these entry level or like cheaper keyboards right now are doing so well because people can now, it's like a feeler, right? And those are probably the people that are gonna be, those people who are introduced are probably gonna be the people who are gonna be spending the majority of the money in the hobby. Because now they want something, but they've missed everything else already. And now those are the people who are like, hey, I like this new thing that just came out. Dude, you know what the stupidest thing, some, the, like the most ridiculous thing someone told me was, they, they messaged, like they left a comment on my, one of my TikToks, or no, sorry, YouTube short, and was like, I would never buy any of these. It's stupid to spend $250. I, I, I purchased my Steel Series, and they said a model number, I couldn't remember what, uh, and I've been using it for a long time and I love it. These are all ridiculous. I looked up that Steel Series keyboard and it was $229. And it's just like, I don't get it. You're shitting on us for spending $20 more than you did? The, was it the Apex Pro? It's one of those things. And I'm just like, I don't, I don't understand like the logic here. It's not even like an opinion at this point. Just logically, it doesn't make sense. I don't even if the even if that was like the best keyboard on earth for 230 bucks, it's only 20 bucks more, and you get something that I know it's smaller to some people, and that's worse. But I just don't understand the logic. You know, it's like, is it really that much of a big difference if you already put in 230? I would understand if it's like 50 bucks. I can understand that because 50 does seem like a large jump, but 20 dollars. That's like a meal at a fast food place. And I'm trying to be understanding of people's financial situations, but again, if you've already invested 230, an extra, an extra 20, but I, I guess some people really need their full size keyboards like badly. Actually, we were getting some syncing with this plate, huh? Let me do this actually. Let me take out this gasket. Two hundred and thirty amateur hour. I don't have an ISO plate. At least I don't think I do. Do I? No, I think they only sent the one plate. I see a keyboard as a tool, especially in professions. It is. I mean, it is a tool. Uh, it's a luxury tool, though. Even those Steel Series two hundred and fifty dollar keyboards. Two hundred thirty. Sorry, my bad. Not two hundred and fifty. Even those are luxury tools. And I think it's important to recognize that even the gaming shit that people buy are all luxury goods. And I, I can't foresee any argument that would change my mind on that. This hobby needs more 1800s. It's just typically the 1800s are like, very pricey and they usually don't sound as good as some of the smaller stuff. That's typically what I find happens, Chozo. Oh, did I bend that pin? Oh, I didn't, nice. Geon works. Numpad. A numpad is a great alternative. I think having a small little numpad on the side is a nice alternative. I feel like, what, there's, not a whole lot of readily available numpads, other than the KBD fans one at the moment. 
I don't think, I think that's a market that hasn't been touched on too much, is the numpads. What's up, Gian? How you doing though, man? Uh, most gaming things are junk in my experience. Even if they weren't junk, um, let's just let's just make the assumption that gaming products, they obviously fill a niche and they obviously work well for so many people. Um, it's still considered to me a luxury product. <coughs> I, I truly think so. Like I, 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 again, I don't think um, if, if we're gonna make a, like a, a price comparison, I think anyone in the world can get by on a Dell keyboard. It's, uh, it's luxury stuff. Did you get a Virgo numpad? No, I did not. Was there a Virgo numpad with this too? I didn't see it on the IC. <coughs> God, dude, my throat is killing me. No, I didn't get one. The Virgo pad, oh, here it is. I mean, I don't think there was one in the box. They didn't tell me about one. The numpad would've been cool to see though. Like, you know, in the audio space, the value of Bose compared to what else is out there. But you know why a lot of people like Bose? Because it has a sound signature a lot of people like. How are you doing though, Gion? How's life for you? How's everything on your end of things? The Wuche 60? Which one is that one there? The desire to look for nicer keycaps for my gaming keyboard uh, back then got me to this hobby. Yeah, and I think that's definitely a pivoting point or just some sort of like jumping off point. And I understand the hobby is not for everyone, but again, I truly think that we take a lot of what we, um, we take a lot of what we do for granted because we can get by on a lot more basic, inexpensive things. We just want nicer things. And I think we forget sometimes that even the stuff that like gaming peripherals, stuff like that, those are all technically luxury goods to a lot of people. There are there are people in the world, and, I, and again, I think it's important to recognize this, who will look at this, will think, hey, even though I'm interested, never in a million years can I afford something like this. And we have to be aware that the people who do, like us, we purchase these things, sometimes we take it for granted. We're in very lucky positions in our life to even be able to afford things like this. Even there's people who look at game, I know there are people who look at gaming peripherals and go, I can never afford something like this. I got other priorities right now. So, even I don't get the chance to get another key, uh, my KBD 67, everything's fine. Good good to hear though, Gion. Uh, my current daily driver, it works better than membrane. Yeah, definitely. I mean like, there's definitely an advantage, I'd say to using something customized to you enthusiast grade and deliver poopy experience. I feel like that's very uh, big brand, big brand uh, marketing terms, the enthusiast experience. Very, 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 very much so. I would love to see what happens to keyboards with when the, um, with this hobby happen to mice. Wait, what happened, Cookie? I would love, I would really love to see what happens to keyboards with its hobby happen to mice. What do you mean what happened to mice exactly? Best cheap switches, not yellows? I like KTT roses. I think they're a good price. <sighs> yeah, Gion, one of my favorite keyboards. You know, now that you're here, I'm gonna suck up to you. But it's honestly the honest truth because I've said it even with you here and, and people can find the VODs, I'm sure. One of my favorite keyboards is still my F18X. But I think I think right now we put it on display in our front hallway so when people enter our condo, they can like look at the F18X and be like, wow, it's a beautiful keyboard. I hope they say that. They better. If not, they can leave. <laughs> KD Rose is in my mode 80 right now. Do you like them? Uncool's like, bro, why are you sucking up so hard, bro? I mean, that would be great if uh, we could have more smaller designers making high quality mice with different materials. The mouse hobby seems a different breed. Quality people live here. Nice. Do people try the F1? Um, I think so far, we haven't had a lot of visitors, but like the few people that have come over that have never seen what stuff that I do, they seem to get pretty excited about stuff. 
I think uh, this is what a lot of people do, <laughs> which is cute to me. And it's like, it's so like, I love the fact that people are interested. A lot of people, when they see the keyboards for the first time, they tend to do this. They'll, they'll go to like four different keyboards and do, which I don't really know what you're looking for, but they tend to do that. It's, I'm always like, oh, just like chill, like type on it for real, for real. Like don't, don't just like smash the keys. <laughs> Uh, time to start GB for Logi G Pros and drill holes in it. Oh, is that what we're doing? We're gonna become one of those companies? Create an innovative product by drilling holes into it? <coughs> That's my sister at the moment. Oh, is she doing that too? I like the blind interest. It makes me, dude, me too. It's just like, bro, these are so cool. And they start smashing everything. Uh, I think the biggest thing of holding back keyboards as a whole is the idea of it still being a hobby rather than an essential tool that can be customized. Until it becomes common enough to go to Walmart and get a ton of options for keycaps and boards like we do with phones and phone cases. <coughs> it's the market, right? Um, everyone has, here's, here's the difference between like a phone though, right Davey? Everyone has like a universal enough phone. For example, like, a large number of the population has something like um, an iPhone, iPhone 14, iPhone 13, and then case manufacturers will make tons of money off of it. Now there is universal parts like the switches and like the keycaps. It's just how do you get some, like a keyboard that is universal enough to have like keycaps go on it and stuff that isn't overly expensive. Right, because buying a phone case can be a twenty dollar expense to some people, and that's that's palatable. I think going to the store and spending ninety dollars on keycaps and potentially fifty bucks on switches, and then other tools might not be as palatable as something like twenty dollars for a phone case. Also, getting someone the actual physical tool like a hot swap keyboard or just a keyboard in place. But I do agree with you. I actually do really agree with you. I was about to say that actually, Monarchy Standard is definitely filling in that void too. Until you can get to that point where it's like everyone understands that, hey, keyboard's really sick. It's, I've been using one, why not upgrade it a little bit? You kind of also have to make it cool in a way too. Like it's cool to own the new iPhone. I guarantee you, nobody who owns an iPhone 12, even myself included, I'm speaking from personal experience, is gonna benefit from the, the power of the new A16, or what is it, the A16? Is it the A16 chip? I don't think anyone is. I don't think anyone's using, you know, majority of people are probably not using their phone like that, where they're gonna be like, wow, I love the new performance of the phone. <clears throat> Even the new computer parts, man, like unless you work in a profession, the common person probably won't benefit as much from the power of some of the new computer parts. We've reached, I feel, personally, I feel like we've reached a point where it's harder to justify upgrades um, for technology, for performance, because I personally feel we've reached a really strong point where it's like, all my shit works and it's fast enough. Like, honestly, with my current setup, I have no will for new parts. Considering Flying abandoning waffle. tactile for linear gang on my next board, oh, any boy. recommendations for current or upcoming options? <coughs> Oil Kings, Epsilons, NK Creams? Are you looking for a long pull? All those options you gave me, I, Oil Kings are long pull, right? Bro, I honestly feel like you, you would love something like Graphite Golds. Uh, NK Cream switches, are, they're, they're classics. Uh, Maybe KTT Rose switches. I thought Oil Kings were, man, my mistake. Um, oh, Oil Kings are nice. My only issue with Oil Kings is the factory lube on them. Well, I don't know why so many people say it's so good. Honestly, it's not that great. I agree with that. I haven't thought of upgrading my mid-tier laptop or phone in years now because stuff's too expensive. I got no interest. Re yeah, I used to love it because like the performance used to make a big difference. Nowadays, it's just like, I don't know, man. Move along, 17 months? Thank you, bro. Alex, not Alex mentioning KT Roses 100 times per stream. Bro, I love KTT Rose. I, I literally, where's my bowl? Okay, it's over there. I'll show you guys after. I have a whole bowl I'm doing. I'm doing new springs. I've never put, 
uh, Wu Che Springs and the KT Roses before. I'm loving them so far. Loving them, dude. But that's what I would do. And thank you so much for the two, $2 flying. And thank you again, Move Along. I appreciate that. Fuck, which one do I put here? Shit. Um, let me just grab some keycaps and like dummy test this. I feel like I put them on the left most ones. Ah, shit. Okay. Where's my keycaps? Right here. We're gonna play around with this for a hot second. Sorry, guys. Uh, I think it's the price point. The price point's so good on them. Price point is absolutely fantastic on the KTT roses. All right, so do we use this? Is this what we're using here? Bottom row anxiety, guys. Quite literally. No, I don't think that's correct. Is that correct? Oh, maybe this is correct. That color combo, I think it's gonna be really pretty. Is this correct? Am I doing this right? <sighs> don't some roses have five pin though? I have, I have five pin roses. Aren't some of them five pin? Okay, which one of these get put in? The middle. So maybe it's the middle on this side too. I saw some of them seem to be three pin and some of them seem to be five pin. I'm not too sure why that is though. I have had batches of both though. I've had batches of both and I still don't understand why. Oh, I actually have the space brush for this. It's these two go here. Yeah, roses are so cheap. They're, they're so good and so cheap. Perfect, guys. We did it. Oh, this is gonna be a really pretty color combo. This is gonna be so pretty. The, the total case height? Or are you talking about the front height? I think the front height technically varies. It starts at 18 mil, but I don't know the top half of I don't, I don't exactly know where it extends to. I don't know the exact measurement there. But they mention in the uh, thread that it varies. Giving that matcha latte look. Very much so. Wobber Moto Light. I'm a Wob guy. Nothing wrong with Moto Light though. Moto Light's beautiful. I've always been a Wob guy though. You guys know that. Alex and Pretty Builds, name a better, better duo. I don't know, what's, what can we make? Dude, pancakes and chocolate chips. Bro, let me tell you guys something. We made the best pancakes yesterday morning. I haven't had pancakes like that in probably like five, 10 years. My dad used to make pancakes with uh, cinnamon and chocolate chips. And we did that yesterday. Bro, it's so good. I know you guys are gonna say waffles over pancakes, but I'm telling you, I prefer, I don't know why, I just love pancakes over waffles. I know you guys are gonna tell me your, your idea of like the stupid little pockets that the syrup sits in. I just like pancakes, okay guys? We can all have different preferences. I just like syrup. I don't mind um, some berries and stuff on top too, but we didn't have any. Rare Alex L, okay. Dude, this is preference. Okay, dude. Because they're easier to make? I think they're both easy to make. You just put the press down and that's it. Waffles are fancy cardboard? Damn. Hey. You guys can all go judge Archetype for saying that, okay? Get off my back about it. Archetype just said it's fancy cardboard. All right. So you guys can all go bother Archetype about his preferences. <laughs> Not me. I never said fancy cardboard. All right. You can now judge whether you want to purchase from Archetype keycaps or not because of this one comment, okay? Remember next time you guys enter his raffles. Remember what he said about waffles. Archetype is right. Maybe you just picked up a whole bunch of new fans, Archetype. How are you going to throw me on the bus like that? 
because I don't want to be under the bus no more. We're trading, we're trading spaces now. I'm tired of being under this bus archetype. I'm so tired of it, dude. Every single time we talk about this topic, I get shit on so hard. We take those, come at me. Bro, you should totally do a pancake artisan next. You should totally do one. And then just one with like an X over a waffle or something. That would be so funny. I actually think you'd get a lot of like people who are interested in stuff like that. Cause there is always the waffle versus pancake debate. Alex pancake stream. Slowly guys, we haven't even got the chairs in for the kitchen yet. But slowly it's all coming together. There will be streams for, for this. I'm hoping next week, I was talking to my girlfriend about it. I'm hoping we can get the whole uh, stream room setup tour done. <laughs> it's just a longer process than I thought. Who would have thunk that moving takes a little while? Right, let's start soldering everything in. Uh, hold on. My soldering fan is not plugged in because I, I gave it to them yesterday. Give me a sec, guys. I'm just gonna plug this in. I'll straighten this guy out. Dwarf Factory is a pancake artisan, it's beautiful. But do they have an anti waffle artisan? That's the artisan people need. <laughs> oh, let's actually bring it down here. Sorry, guys, me shaking of the desk. My bad. And let's. Solder some shit. Do they have a waffle one or a pancake one? How's chat doing? Hope everyone's having a great day. Me too. Hopefully everyone's having the best of days. It's a pretty miserable looking Sunday here, but it is what it is. I applaud your use of uh, Ultem in the Minerva. <coughs> hey, we have some archetype fans in chat. Can I do links? Yeah, yeah, anyone can do links here. Oh, it is a waffle. Don't they also have a pancake one? That's kind of cute, actually. I oh, they have a few different ones with pancakes. Fluffy waffle, <laughs> cool. Cute, cute, cute. <sighs> what about you using, uh, why are you using the key mat on a desk pad? Um, they sent me over a few key mats actually, and I've actually been using one of them as my little soldering area. And I've been lucky, just does, cause it's like felt. You don't really notice any sort of weird oddities with it. And I just, I like using it for both. I've been using it as like a dual purpose thing. I still prefer silicone mats, but until American Habits comes out with like mid-sized stuff, I unfortunately don't have the desk space anymore to use their stuff. I love American Haptics products. It's just unfortunate I do not have the desk space. The average is the majority. If the majority like waffles, waffles equals average. Maths. <laughs> Don't math me like this. It's too early to be mathed. It soaks in all the solder fumes for which ones, right? Oh, this? It probably does. Wait, is there anything I, that had blockers that I shouldn't be using? No, we're good. I, I, I'm just making sure. Who knows? I, you know how many times I've done this? really nice PCB actually. This is a really nice PCB. If I had to pick up the Virgo though, I, I know I actually might, depending on this one here today. I'm probably gonna pick it up in um, Polycarb. It's one of the few keyboards that I'm actually considering purchasing because I missed out on it the first time. AHX Alex, honestly I should message them. What solder wire am I using? I'm using 0.8 mil, uh, it's Kester solder. I have the link for it in my exclamation point kit. Oh! I'm excited for you to put your QK together, Cosmic. How much are you selling your mustache for? Exactly 
$3.99 plus tax. Exactly. How's my weekend going? Going pretty good so far. Uh, I visited my parents yesterday. Relaxed for most of it. I played Destiny a little bit. Ended up doing a bit of work, even though I told myself I was trying to keep Saturdays to not doing work. Uh, so I did some recording like, very briefly for some B-roll. But today is going to be a bit busier because right after stream, I have to do a quick recording of something. And then I might play some Destiny afterwards. Tonight. Probably some photos today too. We'll see what I'm doing. I'll pay and then I'll just sit on it. Huh? The GF and I have been playing Destiny too. Uh, we don't have an own DLCs and are considering it. I caved and got one of the DLCs. The, the Witch Queen and the Witch Queen stuff is so good. Pretty Calamity, are you in chat? I wanna actually see if she's in chat right now. I need to bother her to download Destiny. Which queen is go go it? Yeah, I really enjoyed the experience. I'm not done it yet, but I'm, I'm, en I'm enjoying it. Best T D2 has been in years. I've heard amazing things of people really, really liking that expansion uh, compared to what's been released in the past. Currently at work, my audio is monitored so I can listen to your stream, sad noises. Oh. Yeah, I know what you mean though. It's okay, dude. Wait, I'm talking and they can't hear me. This is unfortunate. This is like really easy to solder, by the way. There are some PCBs, I don't know exactly why, that just take the solder so much better than others. And this is like fantastic for this. I don't know why that is. Sup Alex. Hey Nimbus. How are you doing? Some big-ish news. Ooh. I finally have my first client for my build service. It's only a Keychron V1 but a keyboard is a keyboard. I would never say it's only anything. It is your first client that's important. Take good care of it. Do what you can to make that person happy. Take your time. Listen to their concerns. I'm very proud of you though Nimbus. My spacebar wire is warped from the middle. Oh no, see Jazz. Did you check it beforehand? Always make sure beforehand, guys. Very, very important. Uh, QK60 soon. It hasn't been... I think it just shipped out, actually. I'm not too sure where it is. I have to double check. It just shipped out. I'm pretty positive. Wholesome? Thank you, Shake. I appreciate you. Uh, I hate PCBs that support Alps. Oh yeah, dude, those are so annoying to sell them. Like low key. I, I always have to like be so careful with how I'm soldering those. Which you should be, but extra careful. Might be a dumb question. Any less expensive ergo style keywords out there? There are plenty. There are so many, dude. Not a dumb question. Um, Akko makes one. Keychron, I believe, makes one. I've been shedding hair so much lately. Am I stressed out? So many though, bro. I think the Keychron and Akka one are probably the most price conscious ones. Pretty, pretty solid from what I've heard too. Honestly, Alex is one of the best haircuts. I don't think my haircut's that good right now, dude. It's so messed up. I need to get my hair cut again though. It's uh, it's getting to a point where it's like, I don't know, man. It looks good from the side. I gotta admit it does. But the front is a little bit too long, I think now. Or maybe the top top is. But the side's nice, I like the side. Thera, have you built soon? Yes. Um, tomorrow, I have all of next week's schedule already done, but I'm also gonna be making all my schedules for October. I might post those all ahead of time. We'll see, we'll see what I do. Do you guys have any other plans for the weekend? the rest of your Sundays.
Any plans all? <laughs> Switch Couture, uh, I would say has a pretty reasonable Alice. Does that come with the PCB though? I don't remember. Or is it just the case? Why am I blanking on that? I've been sick since Friday. <coughs> Bro, I feel you. If any anyone here understands, it's me, dude. I so understand that. I'm sick of being sick. Uh, yo, uh, get the PCB from them as well. Oh, okay, we can get the PCB from them as well? Okay. I'm currently franken switching uh, now j -Wake Black Bottoms, Palm Top, and Gap Brown uh, Stems. Nice light tactility. Yeah, I mean, I like light, light tactility, it's nice. I've always felt it's very good. Guys, we all have to make sure our posture is good. I know no one redeemed it, but important. Very, very important, guys. My wife's Switch Couture Alice only ran like 140. Oh, that's not terrible at all. That's really good. What uh, Switch did you put in hers? This is soldering like a dream right now. Will bad posture make you shorter? Yeah, I can't confirm or deny that. But I don't know. Thank you, Bob Psycho. I'm honestly not sure. I already had a cup of coffee, but man, I feel like another one. Today I learned Aqua Switches are manufactured by KTT. Oh, really? Wait, I didn't even know that. Should I try more Aqua Switches? That is actually good info to have if that's real. <coughs> Damn, okay. Probably, the, why, that's why people like them? Yeah, probably a good point. Because KTT does make like really good housings. Their tolerances are really good. Don't bother with Aqua Tactiles. I mean, I think Tactiles in general are so hit and miss with me. I probably wouldn't, to be honest. Sounds good, Cosmic. Favorite long pull switch? My hot take on long pulls no one get upset is I think all long pulls kind of sound the same. I know there are differences. I, I, I've heard some minor differences between them, but for the majority under like normal circumstances of typing on a daily basis, it's hard for me to discern the difference. <laughs> there are really good switches though. I love long pull switches. Don't get me wrong. I just think it's a little tough to discern the difference between them all. And I think the value point of long pulls at this point here is like price and are they factory lubed well? I don't know, man. All linears kind of sound the same after looting. I wouldn't say they all sound the exact same. They feel all pretty much fucking identical, but depending on the spring weight, obviously. But I would definitely say that long pull switches for the majority of them do sound a lot the same. Um, right now my only other hobby is audio. I like my, obviously my camera gear. I don't know if you said photography. Oh, you did say photography. But I think that's really it. I, I mean, I want to get into cooking a little bit more. But past that, I don't think I have... Let's be real here. I don't think I have the capital to, to get into more hobbies. <laughs> Keyboards is expensive enough. I think if I were to involve myself in more hobbies, I would just be stretching out money to the point where it's like, perhaps I'd be skipping meals, you know? I don't know if I have the, any more, you know, true capital for that. I, dude, I was trying, I wanted to get back into collecting cards again, but not playing cards per se, but just regular cards, like trading cards. My God, that's expensive too. I, I think it's a large part of people will say that. Playing golf, I've heard, is not crazy pricey after the initial investment of things. <clears throat> coffee, yeah, dude, actually, coffee is definitely a hobby, but I, I didn't invest too much money into coffee. 
It's really just beans at this point here. That's it. Golf is the average white dad's hobby. Is it though? I'm gonna go, I, I mean like, I, I grew up and none of my friends played golf. <laughs> so I, I don't know if it's average enough. Maybe it depends on the area. I've been to pin. I feel like golf definitely has stigmas towards it, but I don't know how average it is these days. I don't, I don't really know any like friends and family that play it around here. Golf skews wealthy. It does kind of seem like it's a wealthy man's sport in a way. That's for sure. It's so boring to watch. Okay, my perspective on this, while I don't enjoy it, just like I also don't really enjoy watching sports in general, you have to understand some people live and die for that kind of stuff, man. <clears throat> it's, it's just like keyboards. I know it's just an opinion, and we should also accept that that person has an opinion on, that Og Dog has an opinion on sports, but like, dude, some people live for it, man. That's what they talk about. Like, there's things in, inside watching it that make it so much fun for them, so. I, I personally don't like watching sports. Not a big fan. I think racing might be the only thing I like watching, to a degree, but. I tried getting into soccer for a while, couldn't do it. I know some people love watching soccer, they get pumped up. I, I know basketball is definitely a little bit more fast paced. Same with hockey. I think my hockey phase lasted a little longer than anything else. <laughs> Fo American football? American footballs. Is it still really, really, really big? You know, I don't really follow sports, so. Damn, I did a really good job soldering this, by the way, guys. I'm very proud of my soldering job here. I'm super, super proud of this. Massive. What's up, King? What's up, Dink? Yeah, I, sports are my thing. All right, let's get this out of the fucking way. Let's get this out of the way, too. Clean up as we go. I gotta make that a new habit of mine because I have a bad habit of not doing that. They also sent this over, but I wasn't too sure what this was. Is it just more comet? Oh, this is just backup, I think. But the ground was already installed. I assume when you guys pick it up, this will not already be installed. I think you have to cut this yourself which is totally fine. But we have the rubber grommet on. Disc golf's another sport that's fun to play. Yeah, I've heard that. I've actually heard that. I've heard it's really fun to play. Right, let's grab our keyboard and our daughter board as well. Did they put screws to the daughter board? I hope they did. It's backup gaskets. Uh, I thought it was better to be two of Honestly, Mart, I 1000% agree with you. It is always better to be safe than sorry when it comes to these kind of things. Damn, I still love the inside of this. This looks great. Looks really, really nice. Is the, oh, the daughter board is kind of on an angle, which is interesting. Does it get installed, oops, ups or down? I think it gets installed this way, I assume. Yeah. Okay, kind of cool. It's kind of on a bit of an angle, if you guys can see that. It's pointing down, it looks like. This is called the FLX Virgo. If you guys want more info, exclamation point build. They did send me um, this to build today. I am not keeping this build though. I am sending it back to them. Uh, let's screw these in. Where are the screws for this? Oh, right here. The curves in this KB, it has a beautiful side profile, yeah. Really, really nice side profile. Where is my bit for this? The beige is nice. 
Yeah, I'm a, I'm always a heavy sucker for this color, dude. Always a heavy sucker for this color. It never fails that like, if I see something in like this cream beige, it just draws me in, dude. God damn it, where's my bit that I need? I had it before. Dude, I need, I just, oh, there it is. I just need to like sit down and organize this one day. I've been so bad with it. You're letting capture the beige in a good way? Yeah, I, I have to admit, I'm very, very fortunate to have like pretty color accurate lights. So it captures colors in a very flattering way, but I think a very accurate way as well. I'm so into beige caps on a white case. Have you seen beige on beige though? Beige on beige is actually really nice too. So nice. Give me a one. Zonus. One. Give me a nine. Nine. Give me an M. M. Give me an O. O. <laughs> Give me an N. N. Give you me a T. that actually really well, T. Zonus. Give me an H. I hope it goes H. through the whole thing. Give me a Give me an SS. What does that give me? 19 months. Let's go, bro. Let's go. That worked out. Kind of. Um, I don't know why it cuts off. Is there a limit? Can I edit that? All right, guys. No foam at all. None. Nice. No flex cut PCB. We love that here. We're all about no flex cuts. Well, I am these days. Personal preference. Um, beautiful aluminum plate. This hits all the right notes, dude. Oh God, that's a loud siren. I'm, I'm so sorry, guys. It's a very nice and loud siren. Do you have any rec recommendation? Wait, recommended for color accurate lights? <clears throat> Look up. Why am I blinking? What the fuck's wrong with me, guys? Fuck. Nanlite compacts. Look up those. Nanlite compact lights. They're LED lights that are um, pretty high CRI rating. And I think they are absolutely fantastic. I right, flip this guy over and let's get this guy. Nen like compacts though. I like how you had to to asterisk out Cowboys fan, Nimbus. Also, tip if you guys are screwing in the back of your keyboard, please do it in like an X fashion like you guys see me doing. This will make sure it's like even as you screw it in. And don't screw it in all the way, like screw it in enough so it like when it stops, it stops. It's a good habit to get into for just about anything. Yo, Alex, marry me, bro, huh? <coughs> Tim already asked me last night. Angel might have too, I don't remember. Boy, that's a chonker. That's quite nice. <coughs> Maybe Burbs did too, I don't remember either. It's too late. Favorite keycap set? Of all time, I think Nautilus still holds a very special place in my heart. Um, but Wob. Nothing wrong with Wob. <coughs> They were all gone? Yeah. They were. Thanks guys for the follows and thank you guys so much for all the support via subs, guys. I really, really, really appreciate it. Thank you guys. How are you so damn aesthetic even after, uh, wait, wait, how are you so damn aesthetic? Even, everything is so damn clean, I want your setup. On this side of my setup, you guys can't see it, but there's a lot of junk. I mean, not really, actually. It's just my, it's just a lot of tools for building things. So they'll kind of sit in one corner. I don't know how else to store them. This side's clean though. Alex can't read all caps. Oh, bro, I just can't read. I have trouble sometimes, dude. Some of, these, some of these is tough for me. Oh God, I found a spare spacebar wire that is not warped. There you go. Let's go. All right, we're done with this. Make sure this is all nice. Not yet, 
No plans as of right now. Ooh, this does, let's get the, okay, we'll get that actually afterwards. Let's put this in first. Does anyone else just sit on their legs like this? I love sitting on my legs. It's probably so bad for you though. Oh wait, I wanted to tune up these before we get too far into this. I'm doing it right now. Is it bad for you? Do you know if it is? I'm pretty positive it is. I've been told it's not good. I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know, it's fine. It's so comfortable. It's like the pressure on your leg feels so good. I sit crisscross applesauce. <laughs> I don't know, it always felt so good to me. I've been told it's not good for your circulation, is it? But I did stay at a Holiday Inn Express last night. Huh? What are you doing there? This is beige, yeah. <clears throat> Guess I don't have to worry about <laughs> My knee's going bad if I can sit like this. That's true. Oh wait, that's still on. Side. Fuck, I actually have a lot of work to do today. Today is gonna be a long ass day, guys. All right. <clears throat> okay, I'm back, what's up, Bob? How the shots go? This one here go on the side? It does. All right, this is these F keys. That's like super cute looking. Let's do this. I think Dandy's a good looking set for this. Feeling okay, feeling okay so far? That's good, bro. Uh, these are GMK Dandy. A beautiful GMK Dandy. Um, <clears throat> so you can just stick this in lube and pull up. That sometimes works, or you can completely disassemble these things and then shove lube inside, which is hella messy. And I don't recommend that one. I've done that a few times. I also went to my first meetup yesterday. It was fun to see everyone. Oh, hell yeah. I mean, dude, honestly, it's so much fun that you guys go to meetups. Meetups are, I feel like so important. Shove what? Okay, you know what? You guys are, are you just trying to be sussy right now? What's going on? What is going on? I can't wait to go to more meetups, man. It's gonna be so much fun. Also, guys, I am incredibly sore from the gym. This is what it feels like to work out. I don't wanna do this anymore, if that's the case. I think I'm done. I would like to go to a meetup. Hey, guys, check your local like areas for meetup news and stuff like that. I think that's gonna be the best way to check. Meetups sound fun, but there's nothing close to me that my parents would take me to. Yeah, some places might not have anything. Some places indeed might not have jack shit in the area. What do I need from here? Um, Step caps for sure. I think the control. I think the rest is in my bag. Yes. <clears throat> also, the pain gets less and less the more you do it. What, sitting on your leg? I mean, if you have pain sitting on your leg, maybe you shouldn't. But do you uh, do this for a living? Yeah, I do this for a living, yeah. Um, I've been, I've tried to be kind of transparent with, with it. Um, Twitch doesn't actually 
pay too much of anything to be honest because I don't really like sit here and do like do a lot of like events on Twitch uh, for it to like completely cover or pay for what I do. But I do lots of things like I do build services. I think those are probably like the most stable source of income um, is, or build services and stuff like that. Build services, prototype builds, photography, other stuff for other companies, social media stuff. Uh, but I think if I were to calculate all the money that I get from Twitch per year, it would be, I want to say less than a minimum wage job. Is it? Hold on, let me think about that for a second. I'm pretty positive. Yeah, I think so. This is called GMK Dandy. You goes where? A full-time minimum wage job, that is. This one. Alex, have you seen the what in the blank keyboard? Um, I have not seen that one. It sounds like marbles. There's no foam or anything in this. So we'll see what this sounds like at the end. I'm actually really excited. Five, six, seven, eight. <clears throat> Yeah, tw Twitch is hard to break into full time. Like you can't rely, if you guys are ever going for content creation, like my tip to this is don't rely on Twitch as your single source of income. It is not worth it, man. It is not worth stressing yourself out. Big. Like I see this in the nicest way possible. And I also, I'm just gonna use terminology that might sound a little bit um, rude, but I think sitting on Twitch and like not begging per se, but I'm just gonna use the terminology begging, but like, constantly asking for subs can get a, a really tiring for a lot of people and just managing events to constantly like fund it. And then you have to understand Twitch takes a large, cut, like I, I think a large cut. Um, so it can be quite tiring um, to do that on a daily, daily basis. So you gotta be kind of careful with how you invest your time as a content creator. Cause it will burn you out. It really will. What percent cut does Twitch take? It's 50. Everyone makes 50, I think, now. Unless you're on some crazy contract. But I'm pretty positive they take 50 from everyone now. I think they changed something up recently that, that completely voided any old contract that someone had. I never had any special things with Twitch. Again, I don't really tweet, uh, treat Twitch as like the business. <sighs> yeah, the whole like, remember Twitch, like stopping that. I just, it doesn't seem genuine. And I understand like why people do it. And like people have to get paid obviously. And I get that. But for me, it doesn't really seem like part of my personality set. Oh my God, Burbs. How are you feeling today, Burbs? How are you feeling today, my guy? Tier three only fans, please. Please guys. I thought it was 70% No, no. Um, Twitch for tier threes. I think depending on what contract you have, it's it. I don't know if it still is, but I'm pretty positive tier threes is 70%. Um, but the amount of tier threes that I think the average streamer has is nothing. So drunk still? Are you serious? Burbs, let me, let me fix you up, dude. I would pay for an Alex OnlyFans, good money. <laughs> you guys want some keyboard nudes? Patreon doesn't take as much, however, I think splitting up my content on stuff like that, I don't want to lock things behind a paywall, you know? So nice. Dude, L, thank you so much for your prime. I appreciate that, man. I really do. Thank you, thank you, dude. I really, really appreciate that, man. <laughs> I mean, you guys can do the math yourself. Just do 2.5 times 800. Just do the math. It's not, it's, it's less than, I think it's less than minimum wage per month, because uh, minimum wage is $15 now. And then if you work 40 hours a week, how much is that per month? Nice. Ebert, thank you so much for the Prime, bro. I appreciate that too. Cal Q, well, that's not plugged in. God damn it, I have a keyboard plugged in. This build's so quick. I, I honestly think this is like a standard amount of time for the build. Where's my pipe key? Oh, it's still in here. Pretty normal amount of time for a build. I think I even took my time with this, but I do think this did build really easy. This wasn't too crazy of a build in terms of uh, length. 
Where's my extra B? Does this have an extra B? Oh, it does. Let's go. Can we try beige on beige? That might look really good. How about this? Maybe not today, because we have a lot of stuff planned today, but I can take some photos of the board with beige on beige. I'll be your extra B. Oh, baby. I like that. I like that, dude. Wow, rare gene. I, I think a lot more sets are coming with extra Bs now. I would just, yeah, I don't think this has it either. I want more sets to have F13s. Ooh. Wait, let's get the, let's get the, uh, this thing. I don't know why I thought it was on that side. So this has like a rubber grommet, so like a gasket. Oh, dude, this looks sweet as fuck, dude. This looks so good with this keycap set. Ooh, because these are with alpacas, aluminum plate, there's no foam, nothing in here, rubber grommet build, absolutely nothing else in this. Oh, this is comfortable. You know, I will say right off the bat without even typing on it much, this split might be my most favorite split ever. This, dude, actually it feels, oddly feels better with the, with this, the wrist rest. And the fifth wrist is only 99 bucks and you plan on getting this? It's not too bad. Yeah, dude, I actually really like this split already. Let's actually see what this is gonna sound like. I don't have my keyboard thing. God damn it, my cable fell. Hold on, let me get the cable. I would give my left nut for this board in this config. Oh, bro, keep your nuts. You don't want to be giving up your nuts, bro. I'm telling you, that's a, that's a no-no. No giving up nuts. I'll meet you down there, huh? You guys are getting sussy in chat. Let's get the Akuma off for now. Oops, I almost hit end stream. All right, but kidney for key cult is a good deal. I, I don't know if it's a good deal. I don't think you would want to give up a kidney for a keyboard. All right, let's see what this sounds like now. Dude, this is sweet. Um, where did I put my... Did I not open a notepad up? I thought I did. Notepad. All right, let's see. All right, so we're using um, alpaca switches. They've been lubed and filmed. I believe with 205G0, I could be wrong. Hopefully someone corrects me on that from the people who sent me it. Uh, we are using, this is the FLX Virgo round two with an aluminum plate, nothing else inside in the rubber grommets. Um, so let's see what this sounds like. It's a very comfortable type one already. Oh, this is clean sounding. So nice. This is actually really clean sounding. Thank you, Denip, I appreciate the 500 bits, and thank you, uh, CS, I appreciate your prime as well, dude. The Elphis sound really clean. I would say the space bar, like Alice space bars, they're not large, so you don't get that pop from them. I still think this is great modifiers on this. The alphas are stealing the show with this. It feels great too. You can definitely feel like the, the vibrations from the keyboard are being absorbed. Actually not all of them are. Spacebar is a bit hollow. I have no quarrels with this. I think this is a pretty standard Alice style spacebar. You're not gonna get like the super, super poppy ones without it being a big one. <laughs> Split space bars go it. Okay, but I think the real thing about this keyboard is how comfortable this, this is. 
this split is really, really nice. I can actually see myself getting um, used to this because the other ones are a bit too close together. I think I'm able to do this and this is really comfortable with this. No foam at all, yeah. Look at the top view of this keyboard too. This just looks like really interesting on the desk too. Now, I don't know if I would, I think personally, I kind of like it on a bit of an angle like this. So I don't think mine, me again, me personally would keep it super straight. It does look like an art piece too. God damn, dude. Thank you, Denai, I appreciate your five tier ones, man. Thank you, thank you, dude. Only problem with splits is that you have to move your keyboard closer to you. No, man, I don't think so. This is great sounding. Um, really nothing at all critical with this build. Um, literally no problems at all. Built crazy good. I know this already came out. This is a round two, so there's some bit of uh, revisions. I don't know all the revisions off the top of my head. I know there's been subtle changes. I don't think they listed to me any of the smaller subtle changes. Um, but man, this is nice. This feels great. Price is six fifty. Crystal, thank you so much for your tier one. And again, Dana, thank you so much for five tier one subs. That's crazy. Um, it's about six fifty, a hundred dollars for this. Uh, you do get a pretty unique looking keyboard. The side profile on this thing is, to me, kind of see it over here. Let's shift this. I think this is great looking. It definitely flows nice with the wrist rest. A lot of thought is put into this. Um, maybe I don't know how I feel about the FLX Virgo logo right here on the top. Maybe I would have liked it on the side or something. But this is really nice. This color is gorgeous as well. Um, yeah, this is beautiful. This is nice looking. The PC with multi... Yeah, I would personally... Don't get me wrong, I love the beige, but low key. Actually, you know what? I would probably get teak. Teak or I would maybe get polycarb. Teak seems so unique too. I believe this is eco, is it not? Yeah, Martin says it's eco. Cause I don't think they do beige anno. And eco is quite nice too. Dang, teak is kind of cool too. I might pick teak up for myself if I pick one up. I, I think I might pick one up for myself. I don't know if I'll get the numpad. I don't think I care to get the numpad though. But I'm getting Teak, I might get Teak too. I don't know, maybe, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm torn between this and Polycarb. Have I tried a Dolus? I have a Dolus coming in soon. My personal one that I bought. But I'm pretty positive I'm gonna pick one of these up. Probably Teak, I'm gonna, I'm gonna debate on colors. I think Teak might be it for me though. It's like an army green, I think. Is that what teak is? It's like an army green type thing. Am I getting that right? The beige is kind of nice too though, man. I don't fucking know. Teak's the way. Most unique one. Looks more brown, which I'm kind of down, you know? But it's 650. This might be a bit higher. Um, show us late joiners. Well, okay, hold on. Let me, let me talk a little bit more about the color. I'll show you guys. Um, 650 might be a bit high for some people. It does have a brass white. It does have... I think a pretty solid design profile to it. Um, there is extra plates available. There is what? Brass plates, palm, PC, CF, FR4, alu, IMO. I kind of just like the base alu one. If that's the base one you get, I think that's awesome. There's some different weights that you can pick up too, being a multicolored matte PVD, clear. When you say clear brass, you mean clear coated, right? I'm assuming that's what you mean by that. Matte black PVD and mirror black. I don't know if I'd go with a mirror. Teak, let's see this. Yeah, yeah, the teak I saw, I like this color actually. I was about to say, I'm like, I don't think clear brass is a thing, is it? Should be brown, teak is wood. Is teak more wood? It kinda looks like it has a green hue to it. I kinda like brown keyboards though. Cause you know why? You don't see many of them. Um, other than that, I think this is super, super solid. Still feel a bit weird doing 600 for a keyboard. Uh, I just finished the design of the big board that seemed to hit $200 per case without shipping PCB. You have to understand too, again, um, with, with anything keyboard related, anyone's allowed to charge whatever they want to charge, right? It's up to you if you found if, if you find a value in the project. Uh, would, I, would I have personally liked to see this be about $450, $500? Yes. They're charging $600 for it. I'm interested for that price point personally. Um, I can think ideally, this probably would have done really, really crazy well if this was like 450, 500 bucks, personally. But 650, I understand there's work that goes into these things. People have to get paid. Um, 
designers get paid for things too. You're able to value whatever you want at your own price. For example, people are hoarding those Gap Yeezy 260 euro, I think there's 260 euros or pounds or something, uh, sweaters. And probably that sweater is five bucks. Way more machining time too. Yeah, probably a lot of machining time that went in this. There is some beautiful curves here on the side, which I'll show you guys again. These little, I don't know what to call this exactly. What's the machining term for that? Nimbus, thank you, dude. I gotta say it, man. I haven't said it this stream. All Moon right, Nimbus. Giveaway. It's not including the wrist rest, no. HG sides. Yeah, definitely adds something to it too. But yeah, I think this is really pretty. It's from our, it's from our friends at Antipod. Antipod? Antipod? I'm not too sure how to pronounce it, guys. I'm so sorry. You guys need to give me a phonetic. Thank you guys for the subs. I appreciate it. And thank you guys for the, the uh, bits as well. R1 is 560. Carrying case is 65. R2 is like R1 with a, with a carrying case. For me, it's good. Yeah, the R1 was kind of expensive too. Would you consider the mode sonnet a solid mid-level to get? I think the mode is not considered a mid- I don't even know what mid-level means these days. I personally think mid-level means like $300, but I think the mode, um, I think it's a high-end board. <coughs> but how do you pronounce the last part? Is it pod? Am I saying that right? Pod? Antipode? Is that how you say it? Yes or no? Rhymes with fancy toad? Okay, then it is antipode. All right, there you go. I'm saying it right. Again, no, no design quarrels. Super simple to put together. But really nice. These keycaps are gorgeous, yeah. <clears throat> God, my throat's killing me. Where to over lube on alpacas, just the stem? I just do the side rails. That's where I usually put more lube on alpacas. Did you say high end? Which one's high end? I, I would say the sauna's high end. I think at that price point, it's considered a high end board. Oh my God, burbs. Burbs, I need to time you out for one second. Holy. Timo Burbs, holy bro. Uh, damn, sadly might have to pass on this since it's a bit too pricey. Yeah, and I don't think the price point will be for everyone. Again, just so everyone's aware, I would rather you guys have spent, you know, spend your money on rent and like other important things um, rather than keyboards. And if you guys like, if you guys have the funds for keyboards, pick up what you want to pick up, you know? I don't have the GHS gem anymore. Guys, I have to give back a lot of the keyboards that I get. Yeah, still turned out great. Let's do another little quick sound test for you guys and then we'll be probably done with it. Oh no, we're doing your, guys, we're looking at your keyboards after this. We're doing quick, we're doing quickly looking at your keyboards for about half hour. I love these alphas. I think it's gonna take me a little minute to get used to typing on this, but this might force me to actually touch type. It, the pop is so good on the alphas. I love you too, Burbs. You're my alpha king as well. The moment Alex turns to touch types, Soren, why do I feel like that was a slight at me, bro? The heavens will divide? All right, bro, you know what? What are they gonna divide onto? I don't even know anymore, man. All right, let's take a look at Discord really quick. Uh, where is my server? Too many servers. Uh, goodness me, I am sleepy today. Look at my server. Jesus, here it is. All right, let's go to keyboard showcase. And I left off here, I believe. All right. And let's get window capture turned on. Where's Discord? Okay, guys. Let's make this bigger. Does this look good when I click on something? Okay, perfect. 
All right, let's take a look at some of your guys' stuff. So I know you guys sent a whole bunch in. We'll do this for about half an hour. So until, yeah, until we hit three hours of streaming almost. Dies of cringe. You were the one who said it though, Soran. Uh, we are gonna do some dope Alex Otis merch. I do have, oh, a Stitch hoodie. I'm gonna work on more custom merch soon. So yes, very, very, very soon I will have some. All right, let's take a look. The Schwinn said TX60 antique. Ooh, wait, I like the wristrest with this. This is kind of cool. This definitely gives off an antique feel. Wait, what's an antique TX60? I kind of see, this is kind of looking like it's a bit, oh, that's cool. Really nice setup though. Is this NK sand? Yeah, it is sand. That's really nice. Uh, that one Asian, Ginkgo 65. Um, TKC, Tangerines, Osim, ooh, I like Osim keycaps. That is such a cute space bar. I wish they made a 7U space bar of this. I honestly do, because I would use the shit out of this space bar. Uh, I just ordered some Osim keycaps, so excited for them. Hell yeah, dude. That's just Twist being, um, making it look like he's replying to himself because they think it's a good fucking idea. Oh, did he... I thought Soran was talking to himself. This looks really good, Asian. I, I really like this, dude. Yeah, Twitch is, Twitch's inline chat is stupid as fuck, bro. <coughs> Some natural light. Bro, I love the fact that you took your keyboard outside. I have yet to do this, by the way. I'm too nervous. The moment I put it down somewhere, I'm going to scratch the shit out of it. I'm so nervous, dude. Look at that flex on us with these this mouse, too. That's crazy. Uh, QK65, EPT Wob, and BCPs. Uh, black, is it Black Cherry Pies? Clones? It's okay. Uh, sorry, bad photo, critique me. Well, the first thing I would have done is I would have made it landscape. I would have made this landscape for sure. Uh, that's the first thing I would have done. And then for lighting, this is warm lighting. You can tell right on the desk pad, it's super warm. I would also try to white balance your photo. And again, don't be afraid to back up a little bit more and have, can you turn your neck 90 degrees? Bro. Yeah, you can, but bro, it hurts my neck. And then I would back up a little bit more, give this a little bit more space. You can make more margin around the keyboards. That's totally okay. Uh, but yeah, other than that, cool keyboard. Stack 60 is a good little board. Skill issue? Okay. Did you get a beat date? No, I haven't pitched it yet. I need to pitch that still. Oh, this is sweet. What is this? Heavy metal. Oh, I have a heavy metal keyboard. I haven't built it yet. How do you like yours, Alfred, if you're here? <coughs> Actually, blanks look really good on this. Soren, how are you with making more? Didn't you want to make blank keycaps? Blanks are kind of underrated. Like, low key. I think blanks are seriously underrated, dude. Uh, Grand Grey is nice. Yeah, Grand Grey always slaps. Oh, this is nice too. I don't know what board this is, but this slaps too. This is like a Space Cadet, SA Space Cadet or something. I don't even know they made that. Mode 80 with uh, Blossom, it looks like, and Corsa switches. Yeah. The, the pink, the light pink, that Blossom keycap set looks so good on white keyboards. What artist is that? That's cute. Oh, a cat. Uh, I wonder how those little, those KBD carbon fiber blanks look. Carbon fiber blanks. They have carbon fiber blanks? Oh, this is a nice photo. This is, this is a great use of depth too, where it kind of like, it isn't focused too much on the keyboard. Like you definitely see some blurring and blurring there, but and, and then obviously you have the bokeh and the depth of field here. Uh, but this is quite nice. This is a nice photo too. And I like the desk pad. I regret not picking up this desk pad. I, do they even have more? I would actually consider picking one up. Uh, Mega with black cherry pies. Ooh. Nice artisan too. Nice color combo. Moto 2 is nice. I like it. Very, very pretty. Angel with uh, Boba U4Ts. What set is this again? Is this Pixel, I think it's called? Mongoose Jelly Epoch. I would like to see the whole board. Is this that the the jelly that has the whole like color shifting scheme to it? I want to see the whole board. This is nice. This is also really nice too. Fuck, I want to see more. Guys, show me more, not just close-ups, please. Oh my god. Guys, 
Who's teaching you guys about photography? This is sick. This is a really nice shot, actually. I like it. I'm assuming this is natural light. Really nice shot. I love. I've been really liking extended shadows like this. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And you capture like this captures what M.W. Demon Girl actually looks like too, where the pinks are a little too pink compared to the actual photos. This almost looks like a render. This is such a cute little desk setup. Never mind the keyboard. I love this. It's so cute and like just quaint. I love this. Trying out keyboard photos. You did a good job with your photo. The full pick is behind a paywall. Huh? Paywall. Lawrence Hephaestus. Is that how you pronounce that? The nice, the Nasu? Dots looks good on this. The Mac Pro? Is that Mac Pro? I don't think so. Is that a Mac Pro? I don't, I don't think it is. Is it? That's nice though. I like that, Lawrence. Fearness, that looks great. Uh, GMK Dots is my dream set. I think they're still available, aren't they? <coughs> Gosh, dude, my throat. Oh, dude, this is the new PP. Yeah, this is Deep Sea Pred. This is a nice set, actually. Q2, though, with the knob. I like that. That's a nice color scheme there. Nice color combo. Do you use background, uh, back, uh, background boards for your photos? I use large vinyl sheets now. Um, they get kind of expensive the larger they are. This is Sokka 68, Lychee Linears, Polycap Corn. Oh, this is a nice color combo too. This is nice. I've never seen corn look as good, if that means anything. Dude, my fiance caught a cold last week and spent all week with laryngitis like you had, still in the voice. Is it, is it something going around? Because I've also heard a lot of people have lost their voice and I, I still haven't recovered. Like I have to record something and I don't think I should make a video, like a YouTube video with me trying to talk like this. It's fine on stream cause like we can vibe with it, but I feel like, I feel like an idiot like doing a whole, yeah, it's corn. Uh, doing a whole fucking YouTube video like this. I just lost my voice too. Wait, for real burbs? Corn is my second fave. It's nice that. This is cool too. I like this uh, on auto. Simpler 60, the chocolate one is so fucking nice. Chocolate keyboards are beautiful. Absolutely stunning. This is also a great use of your lines um, from your table over here, because it draws you into the keyboard and also even this vertical line here or this angled line, very, very nice. Um, I would say capture some more lighting. You can make a bounce of lighting on the front by just using like a white card or a white cardboard and you can bounce it. So it illuminates some of the front too. Uh, that way there, it's not lost in the shadows. Your voice is getting better. Wait, clackbait, you too? Why is everyone fucked up? CL60 with GMK Dracula, good photo. My only criticism is again, back out just ever so slightly. You can give the keyboard a bit more margin from the edge. <coughs> Even the Rama wallet over here, just give it a bit more edge. So you can, and also shift it up a bit. It's not quite centered. And I think that kind of matters for this. Again, I don't think it matters too, too much. Hi, right, Alfred, how you doing? How can you take a good photo with a small budget? Single source lighting. If you watch my last stream that I did on like the whole uh, photography, the beginning of it, I talked very briefly about it. Whoa. Holy smokes. Who did this for you? Wait. Was this done by uh, Knee Deep? I don't know if this is a top post or nothing. Wait, can I get this done to mine? Who did this? I actually would commission this to, was this Knee Deep? I don't even know if this was Knee Deep. There's obviously more people who do it, but. I kind of want this done to mine now. <clears throat> I like Knee Deep's patinas. I have a few of his. That's copper and it's flame treated. What the fuck? 
Bro, that's sick. I want this done to mine. I'll show the Virgo again after we're done this. <clears throat> the female heat treater. I would love the name of the person who did this. Uh, I would love to commission mine. That is fucking incredible. Oh, this is a nice shot. Again, a backup a little bit. I think this kind of works though because uh, it's very full. Very, very nice shot here, Celsius. Very, very nice shot. I love that a lot. And you use the box and everything. You did a great job with that. And that's a beautiful looking Zoom 65 too. Name lock. This is a wrecked 1800. No, this is not a wrecked, is it? This is the XOX. Oh no, not the XOX. Uh, why am I blanking on this? The Windex. Something with X. Windex 98. <coughs> this looks good. I like it. Oh, Bumblebee. You did, you did a good thing here by lots of margin. Uh, I think the coffee cup's fine, even though it's cut off a little bit. This looks good, this is a nice shot. I really like that. You could use the book and everything too. This is nice, good job. Classic Patty, let's see what this is. All right, a little polycarbonate board. I don't know what board this is though. I actually don't know. What size backdrops do you get? I get the biggest ones possible. I think, I think they're easier to work with. But if you don't have that space, you can fake it, you know? Uh, I use Backdrop Club. That's what I get. Or Club Backdrop, whatever they're called, called. I think those are so far the best quality. I've tried a lot of different brands, dude. And I, there are stuff that I've like thrown out and there are things that like I regret purchasing, but I think Backdrop Club probably is my favorite one so far. Not sponsored by them, nothing. I'm just, I think they make good quality backdrops. Kind of expensive though, but whatever. So is it, so is, so is, I guess Cela V with kind of these ex backdrops. Uh, so happy with my round two proto. Wait, is this Rogers? It is Rogers. Bro, that looks good with that keycap set. That, that silver with uh, that green, that looks good, man. I like that. This is a good, this is a good shot too. The lighting's nicely done, I like this. Which one's this, the Tetra coming soon? Oh yeah, yeah, I think you would, I think Flyback reached out to me for this. Give you a little up, up vote there. <clears throat> Phase one with PBT Notion. What's this? A book or something? It's a book. Oh, it's a Stormtrooper. That's nice, I like this. The Phase one's a co cool looking keyboard. All right, dude. Love this shot. The light really focuses the keyboard, draws your eyes into the keyboard. I think the accents of all the fallen leaves, the autumn leaves, really do well with Serica, even though Serica really isn't like a, a, an autumn set, but you've made it that. That's a cool looking shot. Even just the tones, like I see, I see with the shadows too, you've crushed the shadows a little bit, which is kind of cool. This is a fun looking shot, dude. Very, very nice, Alaska. Uh, this, even this is fun. I like how you accented just the paint, or you know, the, the finish on it and some of the keycaps, it's fun. Definitely fun GTM. Uh, winning my Fekker Alice 80 and everyone else and shit in the same key. Um, I have not heard of that particular one from Fekker. Black and white lover, E-white, Vega with alu plate, GMK bleached, palm piano switches and black stavies. Like that Stormtrooper vibe. On Etsy? I'm going to go look for that right now. Oh, wow. Her stuff's amazing. All right. Okay. All right. I'll probably have to uh, contact this person if I want this done. Thank you so much, Fuse. I really appreciate you reaching out for that, man, or looking into that. Because that was so pretty looking. That was so beautiful. Uh, where is it? Discord. <laughs> what is this? Is it a little gator with a little key, like, a, like an actual keyboard? No, oh, man, this is a mammoth, I think, right? That's cute. Next board is getting the Fekker 80. Have we tried the uh, uh, Enigma Vertigo board? I have not, no. Another Windex 98. Ooh, I love this color. Which one's this one, Skull? Is this like a gray or a brown? This looks great with this keycap set. What the heck is this? 
Wait, what is this? Spring featuring their contemporary floating heavenly place by Lee Chen. This is cute. Oh, that is so cute. I think the only thing I would have liked for this photo is it for it to be like more vertical. I kind of get lost because it's like not exactly proper. This is, that's cute. I like this ghosty. It's different. You know, I have to give you that. Oh, I like how soft this photo is. <coughs> Very nice soft photo there. I like that. E beige phase 165 alpacas with extended 2048. Damn. You gotta love Reagan's desk pads, eh? They're so wild. Reagan's really into that kind of stuff. This is cool. I like that, Mimosa. Uh, the Iskar Cow Switches, BCP on Spacebar, Lubed in Film, GMK Wob and uh, Katakana mods. Very nice. The Iskar definitely was visually very pretty. So too bad. I, I personally didn't love it, but... Ciel with nice PPT shin bun. Okay, that's nice. That's cute. Little, little owl thing over there in the background. I love the exposed diode look. Yeah, me too. It's not too bad looking. Honestly, it can be very classy in some cases. What is this? What nice little switches there. I like this. I don't know what board this is though. So many Alice's. Ooh, crystal. Thank you so much for showing me this. Stack 75 acrylic case. Look at that desk pad in the background. Nice little uh, bow set too. Got your little figurines and plushies it looks like in the backdrop. Okay, okay. Ramrod. Let's take a look. Nice theme you got going on. I like this like cream and green theme you got going on here. It's nice. It's very like, I don't know. It just feels very like relaxing and refreshing. Space 80 Nebulas. Switches, okay. Dude, I would love to see the top down on this, you know? I wanna see how the colors all turned out. I like the side profile with the LED though, that's cool. That's cool, Jesh. I would like, to, I'd love to see a desk pad trackpad. Trackpads aren't for me. They only work good on the MacBook. Oil Kings U80 with a spellbook. Oh, actually it looks great with spellbook. Spellbook is actually kind of a hot set. And last one we got here today, um, the reviving 41 T1s with 55 gram springs. That's cute. Nice little cute little uh, way to finish it all off. That looks cute, dude. That looks good, Alfred. All right, as of today, don't post any more in there. Like I said to you guys last week too, I will be making its own separate channel for next week, all right? And you guys can post as many as you'd like, not just one. <laughs> Here's the keyboard again though, if you guys wanted to see it. Type an exclamation point in Discord. <sighs> yeah, I'll, I'll make a separate channel with, with, the rules won't be the same as the keyboard showcase. Dude, I actually think the wrist rest makes this. It looks good without the wrist rest too, right? I think you can type on it, but I actually really like the wrist rest. Oddly enough, I usually hate them, but because you're so angled, it kind of extends down more of your wrist, right? You're not just sitting like this with your wrist putting pressure on the side. Oops. Um, so I do kind of think this really works out for this keyboard. This keycap set is so good. Yeah, I really like uh, Dandy. It looks really, really good. What is my fave feature on the Virgo if you had to pick one, the wrist rest? I think the angle, like, uh, I mean, I personally, if this was a regular Alice build, I would not buy it. Let's just put it like that. But I think the uh, extreme angle on this, um, and the fact that it's a TKL, which is kind of cool too. You don't really see that too often. But I think the extreme angle makes it really comfortable to type on. I like the wrist rest, don't get me wrong. I think that's a, that's a, a neat feature, but I don't think it's a selling feature. It's nice that it has a cool little wrist rest like this, but I think the angle of this makes it. Like just the, the 12 degree split or whatever it is they called it. The split's definitely it. I think the split's the biggest thing here. It makes it super comfortable to type on. The side angle cha uh, changing is so good too. Yep. This is cool too. I like that a lot. But all right guys, I think that's pretty much it for today's stream. I'm gonna probably head off. I got some photos I need to take. I'm probably gonna go eat something. <sighs> I'll post the schedule later today too. I am. I don't know why I'm so tired. I slept long today too. <sighs> I, don't, I don't get it. I slept long today too. <sighs> all right, let's go read Marcia or something. What oh, is Marcia streaming? Building a plushy themed keyboard? Huh? All right, let's go read Marcia. 
Have a good rest of your days too, guys. I'll be back tomorrow. I'm literally streaming tomorrow again. We stream again almost every single day this week. Uh, have a good one, guys. Take care. Uh, Nord, thanks for being here. Thank you guys all for being here. Thanks for the love and support you guys constantly give this channel as well. Um, and I'll be posting the link to, or I guess the, the new threat, the new server part where you can in input things soon. So, of course, yeah, you can. I won't turn off the volume because I can't. The alphas are sick on this. Truly a blessing. Always on Sundays, guys. Always. All right, guys. Take care. Enjoy most of your stream. Tell her we said hello. And I will talk to you guys later. Goodbye, everybody.